Yeah, what's good, y'all? Welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. Got my fucking guys in this bitch. Yeah. Can y'all introduce yeah. yourselves? Yeah. Whoever wants to go first. Oh, here you go. Hey, man, I go by the name Zealous. That's Z E L U Z. You can check out, find me on Instagram, Overzealous, O V E R Z E L U Z. Yeah. My guy. Who are you? Uh, yeah, me, I go by the name Shiz. Some people know me as Kadri. Some people know me as SK. You can find me on Instagram at Kadri812. That's K H A D R I 812. Shiz Kadri. Yep. Yeah, there is like three, back. four different. Oh, shit, sorry. Yeah, let's do another. I'll do another one. <laughs> There's like three, four different names I heard of you, and I like every time Cal would mention you, I was like, "Who's that?" He's like, "Oh, it's that kid." <laughs> he started off calling me Sean because we worked together. Mm-hmm. That's crazy mm-hmm. how everything come full circle too. Because literally, I started talking to Kyle because I worked at Amazon. Which Why does it sound like you're saying Kyle? I don't. Fu- I, <laughs> right? Kyle. It sounds like you're saying, saying Kyle. Kyle. How you, say it? you say it, Kyle. Cal. Kyle. Cow. 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 You said cow. 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 You're like cow. 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 <laughs> cow. Oh, no, yeah. So, yeah it's an cow. interesting that you guys met in that dynamic. Yeah, and that's how we met, like you said, the fucking full circle. Uh, I wanted mm-hmm. to ask that, like, how did y'all actually, like, become, like, connected with, like... Well, yeah, yo, I guess I, I met him like, through cow. Yeah. For real? Like, but how did you meet Kyle? Like, how did y'all Dude. know, like, y'all do music? And, so, this is the crazy stuff? thing. You know me. I work on music nonstop. Mm-hmm. So, fucking, um... I was in a parking lot and Kyle was talking to one of the supervisors and he was like, uh, I heard, I just heard one word and then I started eavesdropping. I heard mm-hmm. guitar. Mm-hmm. He's like, <laughs> I, can hear, I can see yeah. you just walking up <laughs> like, yo. Who are you yeah, talking so about? I, you don't I, play I, guitar. I, I, I need to hear you on something. Yeah, you don't play guitar. So the crazy thing is, whatchamacallit, so um, he said he played a guitar and I started listening. He was like, yeah, I was doing, he started explaining something he was doing. I don't know if it was a gig or something, a jam session or whatever. And then I was like, oh, you, you played a guitar? He's like, yeah, man, this, that, the dirt. He sent me a link to uh, a video on YouTube of him playing, like, mm-hmm. not just the guitar, the Kyle Black shit, the synths, the piano, yeah, the guitar, yeah. all that shit at the same time. Mm-hmm. And then I sent him the fucking, the song, Dead On, Dead On. Okay. And then from that on, we kept on saying, seeing each other at work every day, yo, we got to work together. Mm-hmm. Yo, we got to work together. Oh, that's crazy. The typical, like, yeah, mm. I'm going to hit you. <laughs> and then our job... <laughs> I'm going to hit you. <laughs> so then our job shut down. I think that actually became a better thing for Kyle than it was for me. Like, it was good for me. Because of the pandy? No, oh. our job shut down. After, that was after that. Oh, yeah. Probably he went that, fucking though. engineering full-time and producing full-time. And that's when we just got to the fucking music. Mm-hmm. And then open mic shit. I remember calling anybody that would answer their phone, mm-hmm. called him, he came. That's when you was there. We was all just fucking mm-hmm. rapping on whatever fucking beat anybody threw on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pa- apparently like, songs. it's weird because of that full circle thing. It's he, Apparently mm. he got that from the connections that I connected him to. You know what I mean? So I like, that job like, all that turns into crazy. all those things. Yeah, that, that, and that's crazy how you said full circle because like, that's not my first time being in that type of environment. You get what I'm saying? But like but when I was, yeah. it was a different type of connection. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like not only was it like, yeah, we, we opening this gate for new artists and to meet, but like it was like, okay, let's collaborate, let's make songs. Yeah. He has a barbecue. You get what I'm saying? That's that's how <laughs> so, I call them. They're like more barbecues than yeah. like, cause the, I've gone to other open mics and events locally just to see what the vibes are and what mm-hmm. and it's um it starts with the sound. If the sound isn't good, then I'm pissed. As oh, like, no, it sounds yeah. great. Just the like if, if the PA is fucked up or something. And, and, I, I, and I, I seen that, that was important to y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when, even when I, y'all was recording, like... It's music. So, we care about the sound. Exactly. You know? It's a studio, too. So especially doing shows there. And that's how my shows are otherwise. But them being even, connected there and what happens there, it's because of that. We Okay, are you dope or not? Art is subjective. It's mm-hmm. not, I'm not the one here who, to tell you that that shit's garbage or not. Because mm-hmm. I don't feel like that. I think everything's dope in its own way. Mm-hmm. Does it sound good, though? That's there right. is an objective reality of does something sound good? Like, mm-hmm. is it peaking or is the shit blown the fuck out? Is, exactly. And if we can make the people who have blown out music sound good because we have it leveled, then that completely changes the artistry and the connection of what they feel. Because as an artist, I know you guys feel it. Like, mm-hmm. every time you perform, especially as a rapper, it's different 
Because, like, being a drummer in a band and shit, it's a different dynamic from being an instrumentalist to, like, a vocalist, mm -hmm. let alone a rapper. Yeah. So, like, the judgment that comes along with the poetry connected to the delivery, connected to the melody. credibility, yeah, to the, the form, melody, yeah. everything has to completely connect. Mm -hmm. So, when you're a rapper in a room full of 40 rappers in Philadelphia, yeah. oh, that shit is, and they all show love, you do your yeah. thing. that shit doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. So, especially with people that don't know each other, because there is genuine hating that happens. Yeah. There's a but, thing like, it's kind of right? hard to hate when everyone sounds good. Exactly, yeah. You this one I mean? of the things exactly. with that yeah. environment, right? So, if we're going to go from spit to the uh, other place, I don't know if it got to be redacted or. No, Eden, could, yeah, would it Eden, come yeah. from spit to Eden? So this is the thing with Well, me, the right? difference, how would you compare them? Yeah. So before I even compare them. I would definitely say This is the thing with mm -hmm. between I would definitely say atmosphere. So this is the crazy thing is me and Zell been around in the same circle forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when we started like rocking rocking with each other, it was around the time when we started messing with shit at spit, started recording mm -hmm. at spit, started yep. doing the open mics. Whatever, and he hit whatever. me up on a random for that. So that was a so test. So then mm -hmm. yeah. the thing is, you know, I do a whole different range of different types of music. I was mm -hmm. I lack the bounce kind of sort of I lack almost that turn up get people hyped get the crowd going yeah. music mm -hmm. so I realized at performing so I wasn't I haven't performed in a while mm -hmm. spit Philly well, Jones those the reasons I did them too is because like I did ciphers before that so that was my way of like if you can rap in a cipher then I want you to perform at one of my events which is like a whole vibe. The different genre things that I show, like Boiler Room, Even before whole vibe. the whole vibe. But, like, but the reason I did the open mics was because Cyphers isn't what I was doing. The open mics was my way of like, okay, it's been two, three years because of the pandy. We had to find new... There's a whole new lineup you, of artists but no, you that haven't getting, performed yet. You started putting together lineups. I don't know who you were saying no to and who you were saying well, yes I was, to. Well, I was handpicking of the best performers. That's what I was saying. Yeah. At one point in time, it was a fucking community in a circle in Eden mm -hmm. of like... Two, like when two or three events in a row were, were crazy. Yeah. He'll mm -hmm. have a performance. It'll be like, all right, now I got to fucking snap next time I perform at Eden. Mm -hmm. So I'm about to go to the studio right now. And, and, it'll be, and, it, Whether it's and the next the time Carney and Cal set the show off. Yeah. <laughs> Carney, Carney, it, it was always type, something. That's, that's, that's what I mean. So like, that's but what a whole vibe is. You know it's all hottest, of us connected. That's but, what that is. You know who's the hottest artist mm -hmm. that ever rapped at Eden a, mm -hmm. the whole time? You will agree with me. I don't remember his rap name. But yo, a song called Cracker Hookers. Yo, <laughs> that's yo, that boy. You need me to see you that name. video. Yo, I got it. What is his killer's rap? Yo, yo, he was the goat. I forget his He's name. He's the goat. Eating, he bro. lived that life. I would and never he had a mullet. Cracker Hookers. I told Manifest. I love Manifest. I told him ever since. I forget his name. That joke was catchy though. I'll get him on the podcast, dude. I forget his name, bro. I bet you that song. Fuck, I don't know why. If he submitted it, if he watching this, if he submitted it, I bet you that song could probably make it on GTA Six. But because you know the vibes of that that I bring and like the show that's there, so like that was an open mic, so. For what we had, and then for him to come up like cracking hookers, cracking hookers, it was just it like. It didn't give a care in the world. It, it went from motivation no, to heartbreak to yeah, crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, and at the, the end of the day, right? that's yeah. Yeah. Remember, what. How, how do you have his box? Yeah, yeah, his box. Yeah, but but listen, that's where it boils down to. It boils down but to listen, there. Like, he, he showed crack like crack crack how, how far crack creativity crack can go. Like, Mm -hmm. I believe him. You get what I'm saying? Like I believe he's about that like, life. For, for some reason, like I'm like, yo, why? Do yeah, I depending like on the life you live, or even I if it, even if it's a, even if it's a joke, it's still fucking. No, like, I, don't care. Do I, like, I felt the authenticity. I like when I see I, authenticity like, of you. Me, me personally, even if it's for a good or bad reason, I see it going viral. You saw hookers you know in his future. No, I saw <laughs> or <Pat>. hookers. <laughs> I see hookers in your future. I want to know. I like what I see. You don't remember his hit, the haircut, the mullet. Well, Manifest has a mullet too. No, I, the, yeah, exactly. That's my guy. Me and Manifest, Manifest had a conversation Manifest last time. Is a shit. That's I said guy. he's now the second hottest rapper I know with a mullet ever since I, I like this hunger too. <laughs> that Man, shit is so funny. Like Manifest is Yo, I listen to. Uh, Where's I your favorite up. place to perform at? Like, I mean, that place is gone. In the but, current like, days, that's actually my favorite place. That's almost like a. Because um, it's underground. I feel like I had to restudy, I had to learn how to perform again. Mm -hmm. And between Eden and Spit, that was the. um. That was the fucking gym. I got yeah. to go to the gym mm -hmm. in those two places. So yeah, I mean that was the point because it was ob obviously I was recruiting, I was searching for the dopest talent to perform at like my shows, mm -hmm. and you see the difference between an open mic and a show. Yeah, like a whole vibe is like when you have artists Last that are selected that have. Mm -hmm. 10, 15 minute, 10, 15, 20, 30 minute sets. That's like way different than one song. Yeah. You know, so yeah, she had to lock in and really. 
pick the right songs for yeah. transition. But the funny thing is, somehow everyone still pulled up, you know, mm-hmm. because of the community we built. The people that were coming to the open mic that didn't perform at the show still came to exactly. watch you, motherfuckers. You yeah. know, you know what show? Because was they a, know that it's going to be was good. a fun ass one that you hosted. Mm. The John that was on my birthday, and we all mm-hmm. had fifteen minutes that day. When's your birthday? August twelfth. It was your birthday. My birthday's the 11th. We was yeah. at the Where was that? Oh, at Boiler Room. Room. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. That Jones. Was a I, got that was rid- a I got ridiculous that That was my first. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that was my first time. But like, the, uh, my, my favorite atmosphere is I like performing in. The I like the second Boiler Room. Mm-hmm. I'll say Eden. Mm-hmm. I really like Eden. I yeah, mean, people yeah. fuck with it. Dude, uh, the shows I, we I like did Eden. there were great. It dude. almost felt like home in there. And but then you know my, what I was getting in there? My, because my, it felt like a house party. And you know what I was getting in there? You know what I was doing? Mm-hmm. You know what I was doing? I was performing. I was eating them candy bars. I was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what were you saying though? Why Eden? <laughs> I was saying Eden because like I like how the crowd like is really like around you. It's, it's, it feels like more like a rave type. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's you exactly know what I'm yeah, the underground shit. Can I ask you, know you this what question? I'm like, you, it's more. It's more about yeah. Did you, you like it better with or without the stage? I like both. But if you had to pick, could you say it? Because the it crowd depends. around you—that's the first one. No, but it, the but. stage ain't too high. You get what I'm saying? Like, but I like high stages. Yeah, too, when we my, had the stage, the sound wasn't right. So. It's yeah, like I don't we didn't even get a night. We didn't get a real night with the stage. Visually, the stage was great, but without the stage, you're right. There is a because that happens at Spit, but Spit is way smaller, and it's a mm-hmm. studio. It's like it's actually a, it's a room. Yeah. It's just the thing about not having a stage in there. You had to find shit to go jump on real quick. Mm-hmm. You know, you gonna go jump on the speaker real quick. You gonna go find fucking which the owner doesn't, want you, doesn't want you to do anyway. The owner doesn't want you on the fucking speaker. Speak. It happened. It's like oh, oh you're moshing, you're stomping right on my <laughs> sub. Word, you're gonna pay for the fucking sub that you're stomping on. We'll right find now. a chair. <laughs> we'll stand on the chair. The foldable chair yeah. that'll fuck you up. <laughs> That's fucked up. My, my my second spot though, I had to say Voix though. I love. Voix. I got no, 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 I gotta end dope. up doing the joint. Yeah, yeah, that you ever did a joint there? Yeah. Oh, you did a drink there? You, Not my show, but I've been there. You've been there? Oh, so yeah. you've seen it. That's what I mean. It's yeah. all about the sound. Mm-hmm. Or, if the sound Voice is got good, good sound and the stage. And actually, they got a display behind. Like, even if you got a music video and you want to perform there, like, they can yeah. play your music video while you're performing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got the uh, LED zone behind you. The whole, no, the, the video, the screen. Like, yeah, the whole, LED zone. Yeah. Thing. The whole projector behind you. Yeah, so, that's like, a, so Other venues are trash. Like, mm-hmm. other John's in Philly. That's why I've been doing them how I've been doing them. Mm -hmm. And I haven't done any for a while because I'm waiting to for the next gold mine to stumble in my lap. Yeah. Because, like, I've noticed that when it comes to situations like that, throwing events, like, finding the... There's something to that. Mm -hmm. People be like, like, where the fuck are we right now? Yeah. Like, we are not in the right place. And then you get out the car and you hear a little bit of sub. (laughs) And you're like, yo, it's it's in there. It's, it's over it's over there. Yeah. Go you go over there, there's a fucking six foot seven security guard yeah. so, just standing there, it's not saying a word. So yeah. looks mean as shit. And then you say a word and he's so polite. So, like, hey, how are you guys? Hey, come on in. Like it's that's there's something about that that is so underground that you can't like dude, paying ten dollars to get into something like that mm-hmm. is a cheat. Oh, what's about you talking about? Eating or spit? Any any oh, any anyway, warehouse yeah. situation. You know what I'm saying? Any because like we're talking about like house parties when we were in high school. Okay. Versus going to a bar when you're 21. Mm-hmm. Garbage. You can't yeah. even compare it. A house party when you were young. Yeah. College is so much better than going to the you fucking still, yeah, bar to like d- get wings and two dollar beers. Yeah. Fuck that. Throw a party. Invite 20 people over and see what the fuck happens. Yeah. Actually. Throw a party, invite forty rappers, and see what fucking happens. Oh, so, no, I'm mosh so pits and oh, no. communication and art and discovery and but, fucking and this the the explore. Thing, right? That's the point, you know what I mean? It's not about last event. a money grab for an event, last and event shit right? like that. It ended right. There's not enough money in it to do last that. Last event <laughs> like, not, How long? How long did we stay after the event ended? That's Just the point. That's the, and I was and I was supposed each other to be music. like. Being like, Leave and handling shit. Get on this song? You I didn't even eat different pizza. people. Mm-hmm. That's what it's about, man. That, e- e- even today, when Bugs just showed us something, like we about to hop on exclusive. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be crazy. Like, shit. like, yeah, the, and, and just like we were talking about, like how 
You said what? You came to the first Eden John with me too. We came to the first John together. Right? I don't think I think I met you at the Eden John. I met No, no, you didn't meet no, me at Eden. You met, you met me you met us at the first, Spit. The first the time spit we met was open at session. Oh, Spit, I mean, yes. Yeah, we we did the uh one song. Open session. Find this cube or something. Oh yeah. Y'all on that joint. Things, you know, wow. You know what I'm talking about. I performed that? No, we, oh, we, no, we recorded were, oh, the it. Open we, session. We, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 open yeah, yeah, session, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's when we my all voice was night. raspy as shit. I could only yeah. do that one. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember because I was doing, a bunch, of, that joint, I was doing a bunch of nitrous you balloons know the crazy night before. <laughs> my, throat, <laughs> my throat was shot. But so that, I couldn't yo, do anything Bucks, melodic. Do you remember Sis hopping on that song, right? That one? I didn't get on that song. Finest Keepers, Losers, Weepers? We ran out of time. we did. I'm not on that song. It was me, you. I was supposed to get on it. We ran out of time. Oh, no, I wasn't on that song. Yes, you are. You started off. You first verse in the hook. Remember the song you was like, I did I did it. Yeah. Oh, wait, you did do a whole shit. You got a phone take away. And you ran that shit. I probably could find it, but No, and I didn't even want my verse on there after that. I remember that. No, I remember ran, that. But, no, you ran that fucking shit. No, but, but you, that session's there. It's there. No, but I'm saying, wasn't he on it, though? No, no. I'm supposed to get I, on it. We ran out of no, time. No, you. we extended the beat because you ran for four minutes. I remember now. <laughs> 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 no, no, you ripped it, though. You were supposed no. to you could go. Like, you were like, is this too long? And I remember just screaming, <laughs> keep going! <laughs> keep going! Hercules! Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Fucking! I didn't even know I who you were from a shit. can of fucking worms. Yeah, who you that, were, dude. I, I, I bet you ten though. minutes before yeah. that. Yeah, that's we ended up doing a cypher <laughs> song together. That, that, that Bugs was, was Bugs on that. Bugs wasn't on that. Oh, one. So we don't remember the song other, the other boy. What's his name? Jonathan. The Jonathan E. He he fired too. Oh yeah. Job Black. Job Black murdered that John. Yeah, he rapped on a couple that he said, night. I'm, the, yeah, uh, he I'm the Jersey Devil. Come and find me. He said, he I came did. for the stew for the ramen. I'm like, oh. Okay, oh yeah, boy. Dude, I've been eating shit. some spicy ramen recently. It's, it's random. You said you've been eating spicy ramen? Shin, shin spicy ramen. It's a red packet. Get it. Is it like Get red, it. red, red, hot, spicy? Like, Well, so this is why I, I only put three. I like, I like hot food, bro. I put I three quarters of the pack because it's real spicy, but then I add a little bit of brown sugar, mayo, and cheese oh, you and do shit all with your ramen. to cancel out the John. Yeah, I make it. You put a boiled egg in there, too? I haven't Wait. done that yet, dude. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to do that. Yeah, that's Yo, I actually that's did that before. What do you just cook before. it and then just put the egg in there, or do you cook the egg first? So well, look, hold. Whatever you put the egg in the same water, right? No, you make. Are you egg. microwaving no, you or make, boiling? You, you make it, you boil your egg and then you cut it up. Once you get your boiled egg, you just cut that joint. But are you those microwaving or boiling? No, nah, I'm noodles. saying though, but you make because you, you gotta get the flavor. So this is you're supposed to do. You're supposed to make the noodles. Oh no, I ain't do all that. Inside the that. water. And then when you take but the noodles out in that same with water, the seasoning got, though, you get what but I'm saying? Up, yeah, yeah. See, see, with look, the hope, same, you supposed to boil that. But noodles. if you boil it though, it, the noodles get really soft. So do you boil or microwave? Which one are you guys doing? You a fucking noodle. Now it oh. depends how you making it though. Which one? Flow? <laughs> or like, well, what are you like? You how you making it? Like, it depends. I don't like them it too depends soft, which one. No, it depends fluffy. which one it is. Because the cup, John, I'm putting in the microwave. But the little brick, John, that's going on a fucking stove. But yeah, the but the styrofoam it. bugs me out with those. The styrofoam. The ones that use oh. the cups is like styrofoam. All right, but hold on. Let's wait, get back. Wait, were you told a styrofoam with noodles? Yeah, wait. aren't the isn't the ramen styrofoam? See what I'm talking about? You guys Whoa. need to see the red. Now one. hold on. You nah. guys need to see the red pack. Far as this podcast go, right? No, no noodles. Can I we, get come a styrofoam. Can we try to accomplish this? In oh, you talking about first the, uh, quarter? <laughs> you talking about the plastic joint? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Y'all fuck with the drone with the red sauce. I can't remember what it fully looked like, but it got it come with a fucking the like big ramen? ass drone. It's like chili lime. I did have the chicken chili with one the where it was like, like thick, red sauce. It's like purple. Oh, the it's shit I remember red. was like red. Well, it's chili and it's good. It's chili lime. I I I I'm started getting into spicy stuff. I fuck with the fake vegetables and all that. I shit. didn't fuck with spicy stuff. For real, a little bit. Of Yo, good. you know what this yeah. motherfucker never ate or fucked with? You know, you know, on the corner, uh, the corner store, right? How you? Mm-hmm. I miss when they was twenty five cent, but the beef sticks, right? Come on, bro. I to, what to are you talking day. about? A beef stick. So to this day, bro. I'm first off, right? He a grown sticks. ass Pause. man, right? Bugs Pause. is a grown ass man, right? Yeah, Pause. 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 But Bugs is a grown ass man, right? I go yeah. to the corner store. I, I go grab some fucking snacks, some beef sticks, blah blah blah. 
This motherfucker's like, yo, day. what the fuck is that? I Every time I go to Philly, I don't leave without a beef. Well, you were eating, you always be but eating stuff out of nowhere. This, <laughs> you never heard of a beef? You always be eating shit out of nowhere. Like munchies, Where it will be like, it'll be 11.45, 20 minutes <laughs> to, and an hour and a half into the fucking open mic, and I'll smell beef. <laughs> and I'll turn to my right, and he's eating something that's fresh hot. Who? Him. <laughs> Like where? How is it still warm? It's ca- fucking warm cassava leaves. leaves and and it's, they got <laughs> microwaves in the studio. What no, are you talking nah, about? No, it's still crispy. I heard the crunch. It was still warm, dude. But it was it's still smoke crispy. Coming off it. You didn't put it in the microwave. If you did, it wouldn't have crunched yeah. like it did. Dude. And if you could smell it next oh, to you standing next to you, yeah, he ran so outside so and like fucking Slim Jones, right? Shit. Slim Jones beef sticks, all that type shit, right? Pause. Yeah. So he oh, asks for a piece of a joint. He's like, I never had that, but what? I, yeah, I never tried to eat one of those. Did it's I like, ask for it? Did I ask yeah. for it? He's like, I got I the munchies. He was like, wasted. If he was I like, I got that. the fucking munchies. Well, he was smoking well, all day. You never had a beef stick. What is it? Yeah. Is it a taquito? So no, he look. Hold on, hold on. What he is a taquito? It. It's like a fried thing. This nigga missed the whole point. There's something in there. No, he probably beef stick, no, he, slim jim, any of them type of joints. No, but he never had it, right? Oh no, it never is. Is it a fried? Slim Jim? No, no it's not. What it's the not a Slim Jim. Is he talking? It, it, it's similar to Slim Jim, but it's, it's like Jim. actual, no. like 100. percent I'm telling you, a like whole family of snacks. He never had that shit. Or it's just beef. It's just oh like my. it. It's like a texture of a Slim So he can remember like what I was dryer. talking about. It's hard to explain. Like you, it was got, the day we you the ice cream truck came. You never been to a Poppy's like corner store in Philly? Yeah, but I can get. I'm getting stuff that I can dip cheddar cheese in. I'm getting anything I can. So no, he don't. This is what I was telling you. So I got, I uh, came out with a bunch of beef sticks, right, and a bunch of fucking snacks, cu- fucking cupcakes, tasty cakes, all that shit. Pause. Beef sticks. And snacks. He already pause. paused it before. Yeah, exactly. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> how many times I got paused? Shit. Everything. Unpaused. <laughs> this motherfucker asked for one of them because I got a bunch of them. He asked for one of them. Like, all right, here. He's like, I've never had that. What the fuck do they taste like? I'm like, I don't fucking know, nigga. Like, fake meat. I don't know, nigga. Pause. I don't give a fuck. I saw your face. But like- <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying nothing, bro. So look, this motherfucker took one. He bit, you ever seen a child like not like a uh, vegetable or oh, something? Oh, I shit? remember it was horrible. <laughs> I remember <laughs> now. <laughs> I remember it was plastic, dude. No, but look, <laughs> it was plastic. There was plastic. You ever around. seen? No, you ever what, seen a child? No, what did you get from though? What, a what corner was store it? beef stick, nigga. Poppy store beef that stick. That was no plastic, bro. <laughs> it tasted like plastic. I felt <laughs> like I, I felt like <laughs> no, I bit look, plastic. He took the bite. Look, he took the bite. He was like. <laughs> 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 He had the slow motion. Yeah. Maybe if I had this something to dip in. <laughs> no, no, what, what? the fuck? You don't bro, dip it in bro. any nah, sauce? Nah, what the fuck? So you don't mix like mayo with ketchup no, and hot you don't sauce? Dip a beef and like, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, bro. What? Nah. Yeah, it's not a pause on the face. <laughs> I dip my beef stick in everything. You ain't got no picks. Damn. You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to live that's like crazy. that. That's crazy. That's what I would dip it in. Why is your watch so skinny? My what? Why is your watch so skinny? Oh, because I got it from a uh, um, yard sale. I fuck with yard sales. Mm-hmm. I'm mad at it. <laughs> What's funny <laughs> is actually my dad's yard sale, and he was trying to give away his like. Let's not count this. Get it his from fiance, yard sale. his fiance's grandmom's watches and jewelry for like a dollar. I was like, I'm taking this whole bundle, and I'm rocking that shit everywhere. Mm-hmm. I'm so mad I think at it. it's thin because technically it's a woman's. It it's is. A, it's a lady's watch. It is. Why are you mad at that, John? The clock doesn't work anyway, so whatever. I'll just wear it. Quick question. It's more of a sentimental of thing. I have a quick question for both of y'all, though. Go mm-hmm. ahead. When was the moment when y'all knew that music was like yeah, thank you. something which you wanted to, to this do? Type shit. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You answer mm-hmm. that shit first. That's like, a when, good when, question. You, when you knew, like, music That's is, what I was about to say. I want music to say, is I want the direction. Like, I, I just want to be involved. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know when I fell in love with it, like when I realized, like, holy shit, shit, this isn't like just. Because when you're young, growing up, watching like Disney movies and shit like that, it's just like there. It's normal. It's like okay, this is a movie. This is a this is a cartoon. This is a song. But when you realize like how fun it is to play a song, because like you always sing songs growing up that you like, but when you realize how fun it is to play it. For me, when I like, when I got played, I remember I was at my ex girlfriend's house. I was like thirteen years old, and she had a little brother, and he was playing Guitar Hero in his room, and I, I only listened to rap. I had never listened to rock music in my life. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. So when I, 
I watched him playing the game. I was like, wait, that's a video game that I can like play, and mm-hmm. it's also songs that I don't like, which, but it sounds which Guitar cool. Hero? Which Guitar the first Hero? The first one, the first one. Oh, I was the three. I was so, um, three. So when I played the guitar, I was like, oh, this is dope. I bought the game. A week later, was playing Expert and got a real guitar because I was playing it so good, like as a gift, literally within a week, because it was like, okay, if you're going to play that, play a real guitar type thing, Mm -hmm. shit did not translate. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good too. It didn't translate from the guitar to the video game, but I enjoyed playing the music Mm -hmm. so fucking much during the video game, and it brought open my eyes to another genre, like I was saying. But I'm a rapper. I'm a poet. I would always write. Drums, I would so. always write. No, I never played. I didn't play drums yet. Oh. I, um, I would always write like love songs and poems to like girls and like that I was had crushes on. You know. Mm-hmm. So it's funny because like years later, when like I would get a girl would DM me like when I was older, like, hey, like how are you? I was like, yo, I always had a crush on you. She's like, I know you wrote me a love letter in seventh grade. I was like, what? I wrote you a fucking love letter. Yeah, so that's cool. where the poetry comes in. The falling in love with the sounds was from Rock Band and Guitar Hero. Mm-hmm. But then I wrote a rap and went to a house party and rapped it. And I used to dance battle. Like, I used to be a dancer before rapping. So that's my like love with music. Like, I feel the music. What kind of dancer? Break dancer? Uh, pop lock and more. I used to break dance, but then I hit my head on the fucking diving board and was scared <laughs> to flip. I stopped yeah, I flipping it, yeah. after, like, 13 years old. So it turned into more pop lobbing and footwork. But um, but I like I said, the poetry was always there. So the love for music and rhythm and obviously all that shit was always there. But I didn't understand what I liked about it. So like I wrote a rap to Drake, you know, because it's over, but it's far oh, from oh, over. That oh, beat, this, like, this is before I. This is before I era, knew. Man, that beat was insane. This is before I knew how to type 11, in instrumental. 2010. Yeah, this was, was the first version. First the, buggy, yeah, first buggy. You remember the original version without Wayne? Well, no, Wayne no, no, no. No, no, no. Listen, this is the point, Wayne though. Wayne, no, I'm high shit. I couldn't My write fault. to that Wait. shit because on YouTube, <laughs> I, there was no instrumentals yet. Mm-hmm. It was the song. So I was writing to the song on a CD with shit, the words, yeah. writing my own rap. I memorized the rap and rapped it at a party that weekend. Mm-hmm. And you know how people go like, oh, like in a dance battle. Mm-hmm. And like they freak out. They big you up when you do good. This was different. This was a cipher, and the reaction that I got when I rapped at this house party was I'd never felt anything like it because I had mm. done acid. I had done shrooms. At, by this time, I'm 17. I had done things that make me feel stuff. But and that feeling was that just... was I was sober, and I've never felt an adrenaline. That's his own high. In your it's, life. That's what people need to understand that they don't understand as far as being a performer and mm. an artist. Fuck being a rapper, a performer. Yeah, performer. That's entertainer, an entertainer. Yeah, it, it and it's not about being the center yeah, of attention. Yeah. It's about the fact that yes. you're not the center. You're everybody's being connected. You. Everybody's connected. You, yes. It's not a yeah. different part of yourself. They, and they, they, that, they, they see your story. Um, yeah. And that's what made me fall in love with it. That's crazy, so bro. I that can, next can. week, I moved to Era fucking Zona. And mm-hmm. f- moved there to start <laughs> rapping. Well, I didn't go Arizona. to college, but I partied at college. That's a little suspicious. I just went there. Just moved to I just, no, I have, I have my, yeah, si- my, si- my sister was out there. <laughs> my sister was my best friend. so I, 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 I mo- She's like eight years older than oh, me, too. Oh, so cool, I went bro. there and raged and, and lived, to my sister, a, lived a party life well, and, sister, and just experimented with what I wrote about. And when I moved back a year later, I started the ciphers from town to town. And that's how I connected the scenes years ago so mm-hmm. when i said earlier how i started how i got connected the scenes to the open mics i took my same idea from the ciphers but to the open mics mm-hmm. took the best performers at the open mics and did shows instead of the best rappers at the ciphers and did show. you know what i mean mm-hmm. i did the same exact thing with this the problem is when you connect a scene well what happens when it's connected now what mm-hmm. who's gonna is are, is any are we bringing in bread for people to make guap or are we just throwing barbecues mm-hmm. yeah we're throwing fucking barbecues, dude. Mm-hmm. That's what it's about. At the end of the day, like, yeah, we all want that big major deal. We want that guap to just fall in on our head. But at the end of the day, if it doesn't happen, what are we going to do? Go to the movies shit. and watch the 17th Spider-Man? Yeah, so. <laughs> no, let's go fucking yeah. perform some new music about shit exactly. we learned. Mm-hmm. And you can teach me about a heartbreak. You mm-hmm. can teach me about some shit that your son did by getting fucking shit all over your fucking Nintendo Switch. I mm-hmm. can teach you guys about... <laughs> You know no. what I mean? Like that's that's where the current events are. You know what I mean? This podcast right now 
people listening back, they won't know if this was done in 2015, 2020, 2024 because of the subject that you just asked me and where we're at now. Mm-hmm. They're not like, answering that same question. This is yeah, you have to. That that this is we all have, that's yeah. the point. It's about it's storytelling for Growing. me. Yeah. yeah, and solidifying our legacy is going to be what it is. But if you have moments that are cemented in time that you can look back on and be like. I remember that, you know, like when you hear a song, another thing, like when you hear a song and it makes you like remember a smell nostalgia, or like a person, yeah, yeah, that's what everything. this shit does for me. Mm-hmm. And that's why I love it because you can say a, one line that makes me think about being 10 years old and then you can say something mm-hmm. that makes me think about yeah. right now. And exactly. it's all the same. Mm-hmm. And so. Yeah, I fell in love with it there when I realized that it wasn't about being the center of attention and a rock star. It was it, about it was the, adrenaline. the it fact was, that yeah. everyone's the rock star yeah. in that moment. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a weird, gnarly thing. It's psychological. If I didn't do this, that's a, the B side of the question. If I didn't do this, I would totally be like a psychologist studying brains and shit. Mm-hmm. Like why we like music. Mm-hmm. I would be going into the full on why. Mm-hmm. Why we're here? Why is blue a cool color? Why is purple healing? Why, you know what I mean? Shit mm-hmm. like that. Why is the G chord happy? Why is D scary? Mm-hmm. Going to the source. Yeah, literally, and that's biological, mm-hmm. and that's a thing too. That's a spiritual, religious thing. Like mm-hmm. sounds, you've guys seen the things where like the rice is like they vibrate a tone and the rice changes shapes. Mm-hmm. That's happening with our blood, blood and our yeah, molecules. Blood cells, yeah, and like when we get vi- like chills from people singing and shit. Sometimes it's what they're saying and the subject hits with that. But that's crazy that you said that because mm-hmm. when I was um living overseas, I was on a Greek I island. God, I keep forgetting he's yeah. I keep I still forgetting want to that. that question too. No, you will yeah. well, that that that's a whole other yeah. thing. What happened with the overseas? Trial yeah, when I was in um on a Greek island, I met a doctor and um she does I think she yeah, she passed away two years ago, made a little rest of soul. But she was a good person, like. But she she did it something called loud blood test, and it's and it coexists with what you was talking about. She said like your loud blood cells is like melodies and music. You get so what I'm she saying? She basing it off of tones and yes. shit. Yeah, like Ooh. vibrations. Ooh, you get what I'm saying? And she was like, like for instance, she said when you go to a doctor and you get a blood test, they testing dead blood cells. So how can you know what exactly was wrong with the body? Oh, because so, they're taking the blood out, and that's yeah, what they're testing. And it's dead blood. And yeah. So she did a live, live blood, t- blood, blood test. test. Yeah. Ooh. Like, I asked you, like, live blood cells. And, like, if there was a, a situation, like, something wrong with your heart, the, the blood cells would form into a heart. I'm like, oh, my goodness. She was it like, would literally show the vibration. shape. Vibration. It would show you the shape. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it was going off. Like, Well, the, my dad, when I was younger, my dad would... um. When I was sitting in the car, he would have CDs with literal tones of like, do, do, like Mm. just a tone. Mm -hmm. And that's a different kind of study to kill cancer. Mm -hmm. So like. Vibers, like they say that that when it comes to like. I mean, everything is, but that's what everything is. Mm -hmm. So like. Frequencies. If That's I, if I, yeah, mm-hmm. your question, I, I, I'm, I'm con- which he's about to answer. Mm-hmm. I, we're consciously describing what made us fall in love with music and what mm-hmm. it made me really want to do it. But there is a scientific description that biologically just connects us to certain tones. Mm-hmm. It's why certain people like certain genres mm-hmm. or certain colors or like horror movies. I don't fuck with horror movies. Mm-hmm. Until my heart got broken, and I was like, I want to cry and get scared. <laughs> and I started watching yeah, horror movies. movies. Was, I was like, I am damaged. Oh, I don't need this shit. <laughs> I don't need this. I don't even go on haunted hair rides like for the holiday, and I'm sitting here watching a horror movie by myself. No. Well, what was the first one you went and got into? The scary movie? Oh, dude. I don't. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you because what I did is I typed in Google top scary movies right now. And then I streamed like a popular one, and I was I, I didn't watch it. If I'm being <laughs> honest with you, I didn't watch it. I started it and fell asleep, quote unquote. But what I'm, made you fall in love with? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like. Oh no, you all good. But that's a, when it gets you I'm excited a, like that. Yeah, that's no, that's no, my no, life. No. Like me personally, I'm mm, about to do my all best. Night, bro. It's about to take to quick it up. <laughs> to quick it up. It's about to take everything in my soul to make this shortest answer possible. Mm-hmm. Cause there's layers. It's like, well, so, what yeah, was exactly. the first song you loved? Well, what's the stage, bro? Yeah. So, 
you know, when you think of, when you think about life, right? So first thing first, music is how we learn life. I feel like music is the easiest way to learn. A B C. So yeah, exactly. That's you think like a about great the ABCs, of it, yeah. You think about anything. We learn. We learn our alphabet through song. So that's first thing first, right? But now, fuck that. Let's talk about myself. I'm thinking it's a kindergarten. It's two things. No, I'm sorry. Three things. No one my fault one more time. Four things. Four things. <laughs> Four <laughs> things I love, but the fourth one I kind of got bullied into not like it no more. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say no, don't let that I'm happen. not even gonna say bully. I say don't once let I got that once, happen. once I got to school and they told me, oh nigga, you still doing that? So I'm gonna tell you what the fourth one was. That. I will rap until I'm 99. So first one, first one Literally. was Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Second one was Biggie Smalls. Mm-hmm. Third one was Power. Who was the first one? Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, okay, Sonic, okay. The, I had a Sega Genesis. I had Sonic 2. It was the first mm-hmm. game ever beat in my life. But hold, we're going to get to the music. <laughs> but you heard it. Second the music thing, in these games are crucial. Biggie Smalls. Yeah, I fucking does. loved Biggie Smalls as a fucking child. I don't know the fuck why. I just fucking did. I wanted to be Biggie Smalls. Mm-hmm. So, like, the crazy thing is, my mom's a teacher. So she used to sit us in circles. I got a lot of fucking cousins. I'm the oldest of 17 grandkids. Whoa. She used to sit us in fucking circles. What you want to be when you grow like up? guys and girls? Yes, I don't feel like fucking counting, but yes, a no, lot of not, girls. But like it's mixed. So it starts off with me is the first, then the second because it is a month apart, then is another one a year away, then is three two years away. But it's fucking dumb. But, but like um, even like it's spread out gender wise. More boys than girls. All right, word. That's what I mean. <laughs> That's always interesting. My whole family's all girls, dude. Uh, all girls. When it comes really? to aunts, yeah, I got dude. way more aunts. I don't have any. I only got one sister. I got way no, I only got one sister too. But I got way more aunts than uncles. But when it comes to cousins, I got way more male cousins than female cousins. But whole backs and music. Shit. Interesting. So, <clears throat> my mom would ask, "What you want to be? Firefighter? I want to be a nurse. I want to be a teacher." Yeah, yeah. as a teacher, she Whatever was probably asking you that a lot that growing up too. I remember my little fucking five, six, seven year old ass. Mm-hmm. I want to be a rapper. I want to be Big Smalls. From, since so, you were a kid, yeah, I want to be. I want to be a rapper. I remember my mom. No, no, it's fat. I wanted to be you a know. soccer player at that age. <laughs> and I always wanted to be a rapper, mm-hmm. always or a wrestler. It's crazy if I get show if my age me can show five year old me what I sound like right now. Fucking, you'd laugh. I yeah, fucking, <laughs> you'd laugh. I wouldn't laugh. I would just be like, "Yo, this is the greatest." Fucking no, that's that's thing what I mean. I've seen in my life. I wouldn't even have to see fucking Bentleys and car. I would just have to hear like. Mm. Oh my, that's what I sound like when I grow up. Mm-hmm. So I loved it since a fucking kid. So when it came to actually hearing my own voice, that happened in 10th grade. I might have dabbled here. So actually, technically, my like first. Like when you recorded yourself? Yeah. So technically, my first rap ever was in a school project at the D.A.R.E. program when I had the fucking. Um, D.A.R.E. Remember yeah. D.A.R.E.? Wow. So my bars, I still remember my first bars ever written, and the teacher made me split it with somebody else. I was so mad. In an irony, these are my first bars ever. Ten years old. You want to be like Muhammad Ali, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, don't do drugs, and be like me. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, did you have to perform that though? It was a bunch of little kids on the stage. We was rapping on the Wu Tang beat. The doom. Ooh, that, Damn, that I performed Usher in my first. Four, I just, just reminded me in fourth grade. But hold on, I this, sang. This I sang. I time, sang to right? a girl Usher in fourth grade. So let's fast forward to I, now. Terrible. Growing up, I have young parents, right? And then I got aunts and uncles that are all like teenagers at the time. So mm-hmm. my uncle was mixtape boy. He put me on a Kanye. He put me on a fucking any rapper like fucking bad. So you're Gates stealing his CDs Gilly and shit all day. You're stealing his CD. He was probably I, pissed. The like, greatest right? thing that had ever CD. happened to me was getting that big ass CD book and a printer. Mm-hmm. Everything. Anything you can think of. Oh, who riding in the car at the end of the day? Who, like, at the end of high school? Like, who car I'm hopping in? I'm like, yo, I got the CD book. Yeah, who want me to ride anywhere? But I was always in love with fucking music, right? So I'm fast forward. I didn't know I had the ability to make it. Mm. But I, I'm, so I moved to Ben Selim in the middle of ninth grade. And fucking, I didn't really know nobody ninth grade. 10th grade, I ended up at a table full of rappers. And, like uh, lunch my table? Homie, yeah. And my homie B-Mac, rest in peace. And uh, it was my homie Padre, my homie Finesse. Uh, Check wasn't at that table, but he would pop up every now and then. Fucking homie Pipe. It was just a bunch of fucking rapping ass motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rob Barian. 
Using so pens on the table and shit. I didn't rap at the time, right? So I remember going and just writing all through class. I'm not the nigga that walk a little, talk a lot of shit. I'm the nigga that talk a little, spark a lot of clips. I mean, some whole shit I don't even feel like remembering right now. Yeah, I, I was writing love letters to girls. I wasn't but, writing raps. But hold on, was, right? Uh, so I'm about to fast forward. I was forward. folding them in a certain way, like putting them in the hook, the hook of the, like, the paper. So think about this, right? <laughs> it connected itself. I'm the new kid. I'm the new kid, right? <laughs> so um, everybody rap. So think about this. I finally got a rap for everybody. Here. That's the new kid, yeah. You so we had half days because of the PSS whatever test we had to take back then. This is my first time ever recording. Went to my uh, homie Tawan crib. Damn, those tests were fucking. Heavy. And my homie taught me about engineering. So I'm gonna skip through this, and I'm gonna tell you how. Pens time. down, hands up. <laughs> test but, is done. Pens down, hands so up. So we went to my homie crib to record. Right, and fast forward through this, I uh, recorded my first track. And I remember just hearing myself and then learning what doubles was and then learning what ad libs mm-hmm. was. And then after learning it's what it was. It's always interesting because you sound like we all, f- I don't know if it's just me, but you feel like you sound weird when you hear your voice on the phone for the first time. Like when I, when we my were My talking kids, voice is ass. First time I, love I heard my, my voice, voice was like on a, like a voicemail, you know? But then when I heard my voice <laughs> on a record, I was like, whoa. I was like, I yeah, don't sound sh- like I thought. It was like, ooh. Yeah. So it was that instantly for me, right? And then, remind you, I was battle rap ever when Reed Dollars and Joey Jahad and all these motherfuckers is out. Mm-hmm. Fucking. So it was that. And then, this is why I love, this when you're young, you got your homies around you. My ho- I, First thing, G-Unit, I bought a G-Unit mixtape. And I didn't read. That's the read, first CD I had. I, I, didn't read the, I didn't read the parentheses. It said G-Unit instrumentals. So... See, I didn't know. That's I what had, I mean. When I wrote, I didn't know that you could type in Drake over instrumental after that. So I just my, typed in Drake over, and I wrote oh, over the song. This is my <laughs> like, mixtape from the he's corner ra- Drake is rapping, yeah, baby, and, you and I'm voice. like, I'm not Drake. I'm me. Let me like make sure I put what I do on this. <laughs> and then I, I, know, I see it was a mixtape born the corner dude, of my block. So at the end of Front Rock, used to be boy sell <laughs> mixtapes. So I always got the instrumentals and shit. Yeah. But fucking hold, let me fast forward more. So long story short, I hear my voice. I just fall in fucking love, and then I start battle rapping. And I'm like, before I, I should have battle rapped. I, I that's the one to. thing I do because I battle danced. I that's why I did. I, I was actually against it. I was. So, I didn't agree with yelling in someone's face. No, see, I love talking. You want me to I, tell you? I w- I agreed with the cipher telling people what we. Learned. You want me to tell you what gave tell me the, the camera advantage? what you learned and then a battle. If you want to dance battle, yeah, I will. Do this and like act like you smell bad. You want me to tell you what gave me an advantage back then? Before I loved music, I feel like if I didn't fall in love with an music, asshole. I would have been a fucking comedian. Uh, so fucking, shit, I was in person. love with fucking stand up com. Like I was in love with Dave Chappelle, fucking Martin Lawrence, fucking stand up oh. comedy is in an awesome place right now. Mm-hmm. Yes, Cat so Williams brought that, it back. That is my. He's the shit. Other, Williams if Williams it wasn't it rap, it would have been comedy. I would have tried. Did comedy. y'all beep what I did so, at the last? Were you guys there at the open mic at the last one? Yeah, no. we was there. Did you, I mean, yes, uh, no, I no, was like, uh, no. <laughs> so, someone in did, one though. of the, the dude, a dude did a poem and he said mentioned. Uh, Steve Harvey or something. Nah, we, that must have been before. Oh, the boy that went acapella poem. We got there late. We got there like around nine. No, no, yeah, this was at the no, end. No, boy went yeah. acapella poem. He and was, I was like, I need to hear it. She says, it's Steve Harvey and Cat Williams, and everybody's fucking he turned and screaming to me. Cat fucking Williams. Dreams. That boy. <laughs> Yo. No, I don't remember that. Uh, there was a couple poems, dream. actually. There was two poems. No, I don't remember that. Bo. My fault, y'all. Because we got there like around nine. The open mics are interesting. They're always mm-hmm. different. You never know what you're going to get. And that was the most crowded one. But that's why I had to ask you. Like, Yo, that joint was even, crowded, crowded. How did you get it that packed out? Like, How is like, it? And it's so interesting because it's, it's still... It's the worst credit. Even the Wait. fact that it was like, the most packed, it, there's still a huge chunk of people that I am like don't know yet. Mm-hmm. That I'm you still meeting. I'm, yeah. There's a consistent 20 new faces every single time. Mm-hmm. Every single time I'm there, I'm seeing 20 new people that I've never met before, mm-hmm. which is that's really it's interesting. It, that's a good. It's a good thing though. Like 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 the uh, what's the what's the boy name again? The uh, the owner that went out that was talking. Jason. Jason. Mm-hmm. Like he said before, like he was trying to make it a safe place. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. for artists to come, and I felt that. Like, that's yeah, dope. and that goes and without saying. About them saying? Like yeah, there's yeah, things go without saying. I was fuckers be excited. My fault. You're good. You're good. But. Like, all right, I ran in the manifest, like, when uh, the mm-hmm. open mic, when everybody's supposed to perform. Mm-hmm. So, 
artist. So, you know, I enjoy seeing him perform. I enjoy seeing you perform. A couple mm-hmm. other artists fucking. Mm-hmm. But Manifest fucking, I can tell him, like, all right, you got some new music. And you yeah, excited he wants, he wants to perform to, yeah. But he didn't and get to. I'll be to. feeling the same way. I'll be like, all right, it's an artist. and be like, ooh, everybody in here tonight. Oh, I can't wait to get this new new song I just recorded. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to get this off in front of everybody. Well, it's one thing about performing. It's one thing about performing consistently at an as an artist, which doesn't happen. First of all, unless you're on tour. Or second of all, if you're local, more. it doesn't fucking happen. Mm-hmm. So the fact that we have an open mic where an artist, okay, it's one song, but you have a chance to like see what works with the crowd every month or every month and a half. You it know used what to I mean? be too, dude. Connecting. Well, it was my show, and then that. So mm-hmm. I was doing something, and then that, or there was another event that we would all connect. So it sent, there was two a month, but with the scene. You can't do it too much because then it gets, you know, things ta- it gets watered down and saturated. Right. But but, yo, but, but, quick, but 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 but, but the point the point the point the point is though with 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 like performing new shit as as like the person who hosts it. Uh-huh. So you got to think I'm performing quadruple the amount. Mm-hmm. You know, so every single time I perform, I do a new song. Whether it's a song from 2016, mm-hmm. or, or song you ain't, but it's always something I've Different. never performed. Mm-hmm. You guys are always seeing me put myself in a position where I have to, I have to scare myself. Fuck, I don't remember four of these lines, but I'm doing this because I need you to. Got to. I need to like make sure. Like no, push, I was gonna do a really push insecure, vulnerable song, and, but I did. I I bitched out and just rapped and, last time. And, and then that, that's what I had to do. That's at how Eden. You feel the room sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. you have to feel the room. No, that, that's what I, I had have to backups. Do at Eden. Yeah, I have different yeah. mixes. You know I had what I mean? Do that at Eden, you see how like, you both see how mm-hmm. fast I'll be like, all right, this what we doing. I'll chop up a joint for you real quick. I'll chop up a joint for myself. Like, yeah, it's right, best to be able to do it on the spot if you can. But like I had to do that same thing at Eden, like. When we was doing ten minute sets, mm-hmm. that you know what I'm was saying? beautiful. And I had to. What's like, your favorite eating mo- uh, moments? Oh, like if y'all did ten minute sets. sets, yeah, because you, know I mean? like, you had the sets, yeah, because you know there were shows. Yeah, yeah. Y'all say I look like I was part of the Temptations when I had a suit on. Yeah, yeah that, that one was fun, dude. <laughs> that one was. But awesome. I took a risk with. Oh shit! Time. I forgot this thing. That one yeah. was awesome. Where was you coming from? But Why'd you, you have a suit from? That's where I was going, bro. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it was, bro. That's why like, you wore the suit to come perform in the suit? That's why. I just wore the blazer. Yeah, everything. I ain't have a suit on. It was the ridge on, right? Yeah. yeah. Didn't we get yeah. epic pictures that night, too? See, yeah, that's the thing, too. Footage it, and everything. When it but, comes to things like that, like random artists come. So you have mm-hmm. like a photographer who just started but doesn't know that he's yeah. the dopest one out. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A bunch of photographers. <laughs> well, like, bro, you understand point. you're taking the best pictures, pictures right in the now. tri-state yeah, He right had now, footage right? for every artist. Like, and he's, he's like, he's like, yeah. uh, like, I'm, uh, like they're, they're young, they don't know, Inspired. and I'm like, dog. Like, they just they love for it. That's yeah, what and that's when you get dope quality. You get what I'm saying? You can't buy. It. And yeah, nothing yeah. new is going to be created unless things have a place to be curated and like exactly. That. So, like I, I want to okay, like yeah. This, this yep. person's selling weed. He's sell- this person's making some money here and there. Like no, the point is what was happening was yeah. those connections, was yeah. those moments that there. like what we're talking about right now is like these are the things that go like overlooked. Like I like reminiscing on moments like this, especially mm-hmm. having you guys' perspective because you guys have been at both of them, especially for me. Multiple hearing times, it from you yeah. guys for the past year and a half it's been like a year and a half yeah, a year. Yeah. Almost two years, bro. So like a, a, Summer well like you gotta year. erase like half a year. So like it's definitely been like a year and a half. Technically two years. Yeah. Almost two but like years, it's been yeah. like a year and a half of mm-hmm. like Yo, man, shows once up. a month, you know what I mean? So like seeing the transition from this location no, at one to that point it location, was twice a month. it was mm. eating. It was eating. Sometimes three a month. It might have been two at eating. Listen, I met oh you no, yeah, we had a big pocket. Listen, I met we you in twenty twenty two. We in twenty twenty four now. That's only a year and a half. We just got to twenty twenty four. Yeah, that's what you're yeah, saying. Eight, so so yeah. yeah, so like I met you. Like, it was summertime. It was like August. Yeah, it was like August. Yeah, August. A year and a half. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's very that's why fast. I started with yeah. So in a year and a half, now give us the benefit of a doubt of like four weeks, which is just an extra month. That's fucking, that's 15 months, that's 15 shows. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. But now, that's being polite, double a couple of those months up. A couple of those months, we did like three shows. So technically, you guys performed 20 times, right? I performed fucking 50 times, 40 Like completely double it, you know? And Bugs, I wanted to say this. You know what I think we should start doing, which is dope for Eden? Mm -hmm. Or any other show we do in the next venue? Mm Mm-hmm. 
We should start doing transitions when it comes to certain artists. Like, say we have a list. No, I did that. That's what was happening, if you didn't notice. But I'm so, saying, though, like, so like, just like because, so, so how in the open mic we go, like, artist to artist, right? That, uh, just like I, how I'm in a, not how talking about open mic. I'm not talking about open mic. No, I'm listen to what I'm saying. The transition in open mic, how we go artist to artist, how we introduce them, it doesn't seem as seamless because it's one song each. But in my, it's just like a cipher with my shows. There's no gap. If you guys remember, there's no break with when you guys have 10, 15 minute sets. It's like if you remember, I would I would, pref- jump I would right prefer after yeah, I would prefer you guys you to end your set with a collab with him. Yeah. So that would that's be what, the transition. Yeah. So you would the there wouldn't be a transition. So mm-hmm. now you got to think as a as a person who's a, watching it, that's twenty minutes of music that just seamlessly went. Now I'm like, make some noise for those motherfuckers. Now I got these two, three artists Engine coming out. With, and I did the way. same thing with those two, Start three artists. Yeah. So like, bro, like the show seemed like it was different. But dude, everyone introduces themselves. Yeah, but, Whereas yeah, the open but we, mic. And we, we had a collab at yeah, the time. The, and it, but it naturally happened barbecue wise. Like yeah. the open mic, I have to go one by oh, one. Oh no, by yeah. one by one. I feel like our collabs but, happen because of uh, Eden and, and Spit. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm trying to say, right? That's why. Yeah. But now, but he get what I'm trying to say, though. Like, for instance, like. Nigga, we knew each other. We wasn't rapping together before. And then once we just. It was like. Oh, to that degree. So, like, we started doing the shows, but we wanted them to be more transitional where, like, we're on stage together. You get what I'm saying? Like, I come up for one song, you come up for one song, then I come back out. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's transitional. Yeah, you could have split the set like that for sure if you wanted to. Like, make it a show. It's a little more difficult with the microphone working, like, as far as, like, levels and stuff. Yeah. But you know with the double ones, that didn't matter. So, but but that's so funny you said that because that's actually already what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how... First of all, that's the other thing. We already had, yeah, we with the open mic. With the open mic, you see, you see how like we take people's names and like we do it, and they come up to the table. Mm. That gets in the way a lot. And as the host, as the person who needs to like be talking shit and making the vibe good, that fucks with my vibe. So for the ones, the open mics that I did at Eden, I I said, yo, if you don't email me your song before Thursday, if the show's on Friday, mm-hmm. you're not performing at the open mic. I had fucking 30 fucking emails on Tuesday. You know, I was good. So mm-hmm. I had everyone's song already. Mm-hmm. So at Eden, it was, okay, you're next. I already have it. Yeah, you know? yeah I remember that. Whereas yeah, this night, I'm like, yeah. I don't know that, how to pronounce this guy's name, what you typed there, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that says, <laughs> but I'm saying this guy, okay, motherfucker. I'm yeah. calling him motherfucker. It's you. <laughs> yeah. hey, you're you. Turn. Okay, it's my DJ fuck up. It's my fault. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I wrote it DJ down, bro. You fuck up every show. You fuck that, up. That's what it is. You don't fuck up four names. I don't fuck up at all, actually, though. It's actually like a scapegoat to like make everybody comfortable. <laughs> oh, no, it's comedic relief. Yeah, but that's. Fucking... I, I'll be the joke, you know? I'll be the joke. But the point of the one. Then I'm going to go perform like, outside. With the show, <laughs> you run that it was. It's so funny you said that because that is the, actually what I was doing with setting up the show because not only was I hand picking the best of the best from the open mics, mm-hmm. for example, I was aware that you guys worked together. I wasn't sure if you had collabs or whatever, but I would be like, yo, are you cool with going right before him? Are you Because I saw you guys would arrive together sometimes mm-hmm. too. Just like and I would do that. Oh, we needed to perform Yeah, I would do that with Manifested Cole and then I would do that with They Got Bands and His Boy and then I would do that with Their Boy and then before you know it, that's two po- four pockets of two. I was two. offended before. Hold on, you gotta think. Hold on, like, th- like th- think about time. Four pockets of two. Everybody has 10 minutes. That's 80 minutes. That's an hour and a half right there. Not That's yet. an hour and a half. The whole show no, we is had set. A performance with it. He- hear me no, out. No, we haven't. Listen, don't li- say we had a f- my fault. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, listen, yeah, listen. It was I'm being drunk. a nerd yeah, right yeah. now. Like this is That's this is this is where the, the nerd one. shit is because it's all about time in a show. You have about three hours of people's attention spans. When you go to these other open mics and PAs and like or not PAs uh, uh, shows, people are gone after their homies perform. They leave, yeah. and if you get there at eight, the but you don't perform until ten. Half the crowd's gone. Yeah. Not at our shit. Why? Because it sounds good, but it's so seamless that you don't even know the show's like. It all. You, you don't even know your boys even. Yeah, done. you yeah. don't even Holy, know. Hold. You're like, yeah. you're, you're like, hold on, he, he's up, yeah. and you run over there, you know. And then before you know it, that person is introducing another person you know, and then that's the point. So and like, hope. I'm so happy that you said the seamless mm-hmm. thing because like I was a, I was already like subtly doing that, you know? Yeah, what I mean? yeah, like that's doing you, it. brewing like, it. Yeah, yeah with that's everything tough. else. Yeah. Real quick too. yeah, you can. Speaking of how shit, tell me right. how awesome I am, please. So <laughs> I'm kidding. 
You the only person I even got the experiment with that shit with. With fucking performing live, but mm. performing live with the auto zoom on. Mm. Mm-hmm. That that I don't give that to everybody, bro. Yeah. I don't offer that, that to everybody, bro. <laughs> that should be. But you, you, you always, but you always like, ask us and make sure be. it's on point, bro. Yeah, like, you show love with this, bro. Like, and, and that's a. I, I think you it, might have added some drops and echoes and crazy shit at every. Oh no, day. there's pots. Like I know a spot. If I know the song, like. You know how I can make the, the, the voice oh, yeah, deep? Oh, yeah, you definitely did ad Like, I songs. can, you know how I can make the voice go deep or high pitched? Like, if I know that you're, like, not at a spot and, like, I've done it for you, like, instead of the your ad libs, like, mm-hmm. like, I'll put it there for two bars, mm-hmm. the deep voice. And, like, no, I kind of, I see you guys, down. like, turn sometimes, like, when it happens. Yeah, you're like, you be like, uh. Is this is what's happening. No, but like I, I, I like the whole you, you, you capture the whole atmosphere, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Did like you, the whole vibe of the performance. Did you follow? Well, it's the about DJ you guys though. It's, it's it's you guys though. It's I'm capturing you guys. Like that's because mm-hmm. that's a part of the artistry that I enjoy. Who like was the DJ at it's the not last about show did, uh, Big Queso, but it's like if you it. notice, depending on the vibe, because I'm not sure what you guys are gonna perform every time, especially at the open mics when I don't know it. But I'll change the color of the lights. Mm-hmm. Like like if you're like, oh no, this is blue. This needs to be blue right now. Mm-hmm. For example, earlier it was red. You love red and blue. You know, like you love red on one side. Well, they and just blue counter. On the other well, side. no, it's because in spit or pink. And no, blue. in spit they have that street light, which is green, red, and blue, yellow. But the green yeah, is the really bright. Shows. It shines green when you're in this in the room. So under that, I make that red. I keep that red because it counters out the green. And, you and then I can make the other blue. one blue, purple, mm. green, and then I count it. Because I'm at the DJ team. booth and I can only turn it from there. But I change it depending on like what vibe you give. So like if you give me say it's all blue, you know, it's all red, you know. Yeah, because I got footage for of aggression. One song, it was fucking red and then the next song it was yellow. But that shit matters, dude. That shit really fucking matters. And if it like and I care about it because now I'm like I look at everything as a fan. So if I'm watching you and I hear the song you do, and first of all, if you're holding the mic different than the person before you, that means if this guy's cupping the mic, that means that the fucking shit's turned down. And if I'm not there when you grab it to turn it back up a little bit, mm-hmm. you know these are attentive things people don't aren't aware of. To make sure everyone sounds I'm definitely there. I'm guilty of color. But like the, the mic, color, too. the color matters, dude. So like the color and like the auto tune. If if there's a situation where I'm like, key. yo, first of all, don't send us one fucking song. Connect both of them into one MP3. Mm-hmm. Then you got a cheat code. You're oh, performing yeah, you know, two I songs. Do that every time now. Mm-hmm. Now you're performing two songs. That's what I tell everybody, dude. People don't listen though. Yeah. Yo, they come you know, up and do me. one song. I'm, I'm a DJ oh, now. I'll put but a yo, if you, if you tell me the key, bro, you guys key. got it all yeah, day. Well, if you know the key, and, 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 and you're good, and, and most definitely. And I got a question based mm. off of that because it seemed like you try to get to know your artists. You mm. try to get to know the people that's like around you. So mm. I got a question for that. Mm. Out of all, all three of us, got to answer this question: What is each other's favorite song from each other? That caught our attention, like yo, this guy's talented. Mm. It might have been the first auto tune mm-hmm. thing, but Devil Outside, when when all the you lights know, were red, you know, you know, and it was at Eden, it was at Eden, and it was it was when you performed on top of the that speaker. One pi- no, no pictures, pictures for me. Which was that one? How's pitches. that go? Yeah, because you was there for the 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 but midway Kyle creation the, of that guitar, shit. Yeah, how's that's pictures go? Oh, how's that one go? I got people that I love that I only see in pictures. I yeah, know oh, I like that one. I like you that heard one. that I verse. Like that that verse was so like old. I no, but I but I witnessed like, Devil Outside come to life at Eden. You know, yeah, I watched that, it with the red lights, and when yeah. you stood on the sub and the auto tune was on, and you realized yeah. it was on. You know, yeah, like that was that you went fully into it, and then you the um, coming outside. the one where you spin in a circle. What's the one where you like spin in a circle well, when you perform it? Yeah. And, 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 and enough, not yeah. that one, the other one. <laughs> I spin in a circle. Was... Yeah, you spin in a circle when you perform it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you take your shirt off for? You take your shirt off every time you perform, you take your shirt off for a specific John. You know what's crazy? I got it's all the Joel's on. It's a specific song, bro. I need to take my shirt off, bro. I hold swear on, to God, it is. It's not, uh, it's not, hell it's not, no, hell listen, no, I do, listen, I do take well, my hold on, Ransom, how Ransom go? How Ransom go? Hmm? Ransom, is it called Ransom? 
It's not. It's not. It's not enough. It's not that. What's one. the joint you got the video Which for? One? How did it go? You How did the other it? ones go? I need you to sing it. <laughs> yo, no, yo, I don't know. Mommy, my niggas, shirt having enough heads is not giving me oh, a clue. The joint you got the video for? How it go? Just give me one I bar, and I might remember the whole thing. Trying to unblock my blessings. I'm a fucking lethal weapon. Yeah, not that one. Bro, and I have no it, clue what you talking What's about? the other one you perform? I perform Waves, What Happened. Hell of a what, Night. What's Wave? Oh. What's Waves? Hell of a Night, Night, Night. Oh, that's Autumn. it. Autumn. That's you the one. Right, 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 that's right. the fucking <laughs> one, bro. Okay, got gotcha. you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. It's like you're chopping and it jumps. You just go. <laughs> <laughs> like, straight up how Cat Williams be doing shit like that. So, if I'm talking... If I'm talking about favorite shit. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I'll be feeling well, that. Well, hell of a dude. I was like, where's timestamp? We're adding that audio right there. We're adding your audio so, with yeah. John there. So that, that's your favorite, John? I already know it's like, my favorite well, the shit. Audio of it, like, well, that's the thing. So the mixing of that, the hell or not, like the yeah. audio mixing of that is dope. But the transition to the- that live and the energy transitions. You know, and that jump right into uh, sometimes hype songs. Had to go get that bag. I'm a, hype but look live. how they mm-hmm. look at what he transitioned it into. They had to go get the bag joint, and then sometimes he transitioned mm-hmm. it to the uh, let's get the bag. Joint. Mm-hmm. The fucking um, let's get the bag. What the fuck Run is this back? Shit? Let's get the bag. How to go get that bag? I'm up. How to go? Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgive me for not. Re- I'm on, nigga. That, but which one? We, nah, it's hell of a night though. He got it. You were better off adding up. Yeah, adding up. Like how you can transition from them, Joe. Always fuck with them three transitioning. I like that yeah, one a lot, though. And then we fucked the like game up once we said once we say in the way, and then yeah, pictures ain't it, even happen live yet. It's uh, and the, but the one I like from you, already what know, is I it called? Bugs. It's on Instagram. I tell you about it all the time. You did a live video for it. Lights pass. I don't think I ever performed that yet. Yo, like, I love at a yo, show. Bro. I've done a live yo. performance of it, but bro, I haven't. When I tell you, Dude, I, I love that song from you, bro. That that like bucks to this day. I'm like, yo, this is a, you need to take that song more serious. It's worse. That's it. I think it's called. I yeah. don't think I'm worth what you deserve. I only know it's pain because it hurts. If it's not the same when it gets worse, yeah. I how can I believe you even if you're gonna you leave me? me? Yeah, that's shit. yeah. No, mm. that one. Ooh, that one's like fire. Shit. Did you mm. you ain't hear that one? I don't know. No, but I listen. don't think I'm worth what you deserve. I only know it's pain because See, it hurts. Like, how long ago he, did you do that, John? He has this video. A year ago. This yeah. was at, yeah, I dropped it a year uh, ago. Right, I wrote right, it. Right, well, that's the know. thing, too. A lot about those live performances that I do Maybe post, fresh. they're like, I wrote that the day. Like, I, I listen to it for a day to memorize it. The second I memorize it, I do it. Do it count? There's something fresh about the performance like, with that, with bro, my live takes with that. Like, do it well, like mm-hmm? and I got, oh, wait, my fault. Go ahead. It go counts. Ahead. But do it count if fucking, and I got it on camera. I got it cut on camera a couple times. But my favorite song from you is actually a feature from you. On who? Uh, what's the name? Dreamcatcher. Oh yeah, of course, dude. That song is so good. I don't think I heard that. Joke. No, the Mike Carney John, the one where I rap on Carneys. I can't remember nobody bars right now. You know the car, the one where Carney. Um, how's? However you, dude, am I tripping? That song is so deep in my brain. Oh yeah, ooh. Let all that they say wash, wash away, away with the wind. Let all that they I say. I don't think I heard it. Hold on, y'all. y'all nah, you wash definitely heard it. No. <laughs> yeah. fucking, we'll play, we'll play it after. Yeah, it's that's just crazy. Really good song. You Kyle, definitely heard it. Kyle, Kyle Blood. No, the waves mm-hmm. hit the same mm-hmm. by the bass side. Want to mm-hmm. stay? We can skate mm-hmm. by yeah, the bass side. Yeah, yeah, you murdered I'm okay with my hands on her waistline because I just want to feel you like the bass line. But you got to remember that when you see him perform, he got a certain bop with that joke. The only thing that make me mad when you bop with that joke. I'm in my zone when I bop when I bop from there. You turn around, you start making love to the wall. Like you just start fucking doing your little. Well, that's you start doing that's something with the fucking wall. my shadow straight up. <laughs> like I'm fucking my own shadow. Like when I look at the wall, it's like I realize like they're not worthy. Oh, they're not worthy of this right now. I need to focus on myself and oh, just go into a little G moment. That's exactly what's happening. 
I'm fully indulged in my the wall might as well right, be a so mirror. Ego. Right. It might as well be a mirror. Bugs, you <laughs> hate me right now, bro. <laughs> no, this is perfect bathroom break. I'ma play I'll a little clip of these motherfuckers, then we I'll gonna come back. Talk yeah. a little more shit. <laughs> Do you love a nigga even though I'm probably out there fucking another bitch? Chasing money, brings honeys. Then I fuck fucking to the wretches. Wait a second, take a minute. Every time a nigga spit it, killing knees, instrumentals, goddamn, I was saying be behind boss for the rest of my life Memorize it all in my brain Why the heck would I write? It's okay, I'ma bike through the day and the night Chillin' on the highway to heaven yeah. Ain't taking that flight tonight uh, I got a question, why you tryna block my blessings? Y'all can have this world, my treasure in the heavens I never lost, all my L's, thanks for lessons Get out my way, cause I'ma walk and lead through weapon, yeah all of my people ready for war, you did it be scared now nah. All of my enemies don't wanna start like I'm telling you stand down Remember the days y'all thought I was nothing but look on the man now You see how the tables turn up, can't it's time to bow down I got a question, why you trying to block my blessings? Y'all can have this world, my treasure in the heavens I never lost all my L's, thanks for lessons Here, we're back to the fucking podcast oh, Um <laughs> I got fucking zealous oh, and shit, that's okay. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go feel it, just don't step <laughs> yeah, on stuff. Shit, You're good. We can run it, we can run it. Yeah, you guys did have a whole chunk of time. Just watch where you go. It's a landmine in this bitch, but... <laughs> but um, I want to shout out these guys. Usually, obviously, on the Full Circle Podcast, it's all free convos. I'm not one of those interview podcast guys that ask questions and shit, but... Of course, when a motherfucker like this comes mm. across and asks deep wow. musical questions that matter, mm -hmm. it turns into longer explanations from our stories and where we were. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the banter like ten years down the line, and like yeah, so like the 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 back and forth banter isn't necessary in a situation like this where we're just telling like storylines yeah. <laughs> of where we are and how we're there you know what i mean which is really fucking awesome and, 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 and as you're talking you're learning it's like mm -hmm. damn i didn't even know about it. myself yeah, you know what like, I'm saying? yeah i didn't even know disconnected with that but it's like mm -hmm. it makes sense now before you know it you talked for fucking seven minutes and you're like oh shit yeah. it's a, it's but a, like it, it is about me it's a podcast fuck <laughs> it it's, it's, it's literally about me right now <laughs> yeah, no but that's what it, but who Everyone going to relate though. You get what I'm saying? Nobody's mm -hmm. everybody ain't got the courage to just come out here and speak their story. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? So like And how they got their drawings and where they where the they music really from thought like about it's, it, yeah. it's probably in his next probably Drake right now. Mm -hmm. Like in his room, don't even know how he's gonna express himself. Yeah, you get what I'm saying, and he he'll hear from someone like, it's like, yo, that's exactly. It's gonna get expressed. You get what you I'm saying. You better believe, like, it's getting expressed somehow. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, going to, but like, you never whether know, it's figured though. it out, figured out well or not. Oh, like, you never expressed. know, though. You mean like? Be blam. That's no, why. That's, you're going. that's what it's all about, though, because uh, because like I said, I'm normally just a free for all. Whatever we're talking about, we'll like look at that color over there. What do you think about that? Like. Mm -hmm. So to have a couple questions from from someone who's technically like a guest on my podcast ask me a question is a whole different dynamic and flip and it's actually comforting to mm -hmm. like be um, a part of the conversation. A subject of interest. <laughs> a part of the conversation. Yeah, like the answer. No yeah, you could jump in, man. You could so jump look, in all the time. We said, you just came back. Like, <laughs> you was going jump. for like a 10 minute. Yeah, you were going for like 37 minutes, back. dude. You were going for like 39 <laughs> like, minutes. Let's get the ball rolling. I'm about to, I don't care which order we going, right? Shrooms. We, I wasn't even going to get on shrooms yet. Acid. I was snitching on my subjects, my <laughs> I'm a mind so, reader. It's what shrooms does. I'm going to say two subjects. Rappers. Because y'all primarily rap. I feel as though y'all both do all I'm an artist. music throughout. You didn't let me finish my son, what I was saying. My fault, bro. I was about to explain. How's it feel? Now, um, <laughs> now go top five. I want to hear top five favorite top rappers. Five. And without diving too deep, tell me why a couple of them. If y'all have some out there person in your top Can I go tell first? Tell me why the top one, but top five. Me, but tell me why first? the top one. Yeah, yeah, top, top five. five can but I go top first? Top five rappers and then top five vocalists, if y'all can think of top five. Okay, vocalists. listen. So you, basically what you're saying is top five artists of all time. Because the list is going to be too long. That's like 15 artists. Let's just go rappers now. Yeah, because we go vocalists. Let's, so you want to go top five artists of all time, top five rappers? Rappers, rappers, rappers. Rappers? I'm gonna have vocalists, to go. artists, or rappers? Which one? 
All right, matter of fact, let's go top five artists that influence your style. That's what I'm saying. Okay, that's that's a different question. That's what I'm saying. Top five artists artists that I can do. Not even your top five favorite. Top five that you feel as though influence my style and my my style and how in a circle. Yeah, let's go. So I'm gonna say it's gonna be short. I'm gonna say one one liners, the 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 artist and how. Go ahead, Mm -hmm. go ahead. One Lil Wayne, number Mm -hmm. one punchline. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. He he taught me how to make something so simple sound so good. Mm-hmm. And he was the right. first artist that ever make me feel like I was doing a good job doing that. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Because it 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 built up to other lyrical pockets. Simplified punchline. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Secondly, Lupe, songwriting ability. You already know that's fucking Lupe one of my Fiasco. Rappers. Songwriting ability, like the way he can create an album, mm-hmm. is amazing. Five, I'm gonna have to say Dave Santan. That was number three. Really? Well, you jumped the five from. I jumped the five three. My fault. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, I thought he did that on purpose. Wait, what? I'm tripping. I swear you did that on purpose, yo. I'm saying five. Number three, (laughs) Dave Santan. My fault, bro. (laughs) Dave Santan. And the reason I'll say for that, I'll say charisma. Like the fact of like he broke the barrier of like yeah. I'm from the UK. I have this accent, but you still gonna listen to me. You get what I'm saying? Cause of my charisma. You know what I'm saying? It gave it gave me that type of confidence to be like, you know what? Still be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Even like, cause I used to be scared of the fact of like, this is too different. And be like, so what? Yeah. Like, even when I felt that way, even with song, you're like autumn. Yeah. Like when I first did that song, I'm like, it's too different. But it's like, oh, this was this is what you want. Mm-hmm. You want you. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I put Dave in that pocket, like charisma, the way he carried himself. Yeah, that pocket, that weird, that spot where you feel like it's weird. That's mm. where you should go. That's where you should be. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I'll say yeah. top three. It's a lot of lonely three. moments artistically there, though. You get what I'm saying? Because you're like, Ugh. I never heard this. It takes it's a while to get top three or top five. Because you gotta, you gotta mold it, bro. Yeah, you gotta. Two more. Yeah, I want to hear two more. You gotta sculpt your version of that. You know, only two sides. I want to hear two more, then I want to hear yours. I'm then. My, my my last two is Chris Brown, fashion. Mm-hmm. Chris Brown, his, his fashion is crazy, and the way like he carried himself through the industry was immaculate. Mm-hmm. And the last one I had to say is T Pain and influence. T Pain's the shit. So you get underrated. what I'm saying? T Plunk so underrated. You know what I'm saying? T Pain well, albums are T-Pain. like well, people don't talk about T Pain T Pain albums enough. Even the ones that don't sell well, like Oblivion. Mm-hmm. If y'all really hear that album vocally, like. That was some of T Pain's best song. Not everything. Like he's so hands on with all of the production from. You the get what I'm saying to the end. Mm-hmm. That the songwriting, like how he wants certain ad libs to sound. There's so in, much like, material with him too, with like what he's doing now because of streaming and stuff. But like, mm-hmm. there needs to be like a docu series on him. Mm-hmm. T- he's not studying. Um, like you got to understand mm-hmm. the industry thrives off auto tune. Yeah, He's the us. god of auto tune, bro. See, you get what I'm saying? Cher like, is the goddess of auto tune. Do you believe you, think, you, you, love you really love? believe that Cher popularized auto tune? So I can no, tell you she, the reason I the wanted to do auto tune was because of Cher. She was the first. It wasn't because of T Pain. But then when I heard T Pain have the shit, I was like, "Oh, he's modern. Oh, he's uh-uh. made it modernized." I'm, I'm, talking the, I'm talking about the rest but of the world. Oh no, no, no! For sure, hear your five too. Not your top five favorite. Top five. All right, mine is similar to yours, but if I'm gonna go number one first and foremost, um, you're not wrong. No, I didn't. I don't disagree about T Pain. I'm all. gonna let T-Pain myself at all. Yeah, go, bro. Yeah. He don't get I'm the. I'm gonna let myself bunch it together, and I'm gonna say number one, Brooklyn's finest, because I'm gonna say Jay Z mm. and Biggie, because that's one and from two. the whole just that's one and catching two. the beat th- 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 like thing. Mm-hmm. It's just the, uh, 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 uh. Like, just the whole charisma. Biggie had charisma like a motherfucker. Biggie's flow just felt like water. I mm-hmm. feel like sometimes when I try to mimic my flow, I try to be like, what would Biggie sound in the modern day cadence? <laughs> to this day, I'm still influenced by fucking Biggie's bars. Biggie's fucking rhyme schemes. Mm-hmm. Fucking Biggie's story. Shit just got so weird nowadays so, that people just had to get weird and go offbeat. 
Yeah. That's that's where shit, that's where shit got. They, they didn't have to father, do that, right? bro. If I'm talking, they chose to do that. Well, they that's didn't what have, they didn't have, <laughs> have to do. They that. didn't have to do. No that. one but told look, you to go off no, beat, bro. No, they I'm chose talking, to do that. I, I do not believe five. no one forced them to do that, bro. It's no but, way oh, that's possible. Your, that's your style, dog. There is no I'm, way possible. Oh, is there a latency in the they microphone and the, and the engineer didn't slide the track over a little bit? They let him slide. They wanted to do that. It's no way in hell. The engineer didn't slide the shit to the left a little bit. They didn't say, listen. You better do this when you ain't getting on this beat. No way. He wanted to be off beat. Engineer said you didn't pay me for the extra fucking five minutes. Huh? Who wanted to be off beat? Whoever's rapping off beat. It's just a thing that happened. I keep going. So So So, that was one and two, Biggie and uh, Jay-Z. Yeah, Biggie and Jay-Z. So then number three for me, it would have to be, and I almost was bunching Biggie and Jay in one, but if I got to keep one, I'm going to keep one. No, that's one and two, dog. Yeah, fuck it. But, um, <laughs> what? No, no, that's how you feel. So three, you I'm gonna go for me them. because off of this element alone. So I heard College Dropout. I heard the mixtape like months and months before College Dropout came Yay. out. It was it had Yay like years. keep the receipt with old dirty bastard, fucking um the heavy hitters freestyle, like a whole bunch of fucking Kanye songs that never made the cut. Mm-hmm. But this is the thing: it had songs that made the cut on College Dropout, the unmixed versions. He should just drop an un. But shit that didn't make the cut album right now. Oh no, I got it in my phone. I got it in my phone. Yeah, but he should officially drop it. You want to hear a bunch of Kanye leaks? No, not right it. now. Not at all. But, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not at all. <laughs> but listen, this is the thing. So I heard the college drop on mixtape, and then <laughs> you got Kanye later, leaks I'm in your seven phone. Months later, right? <laughs> Everyone he got, does. He got the shades <laughs> and the hat. He so got the whole. You see how I approach music, it. right? I throw singers on shit. I throw guitars, whatever. So I heard Jesus Walk, the naked version. And then I heard months well, later. I why heard, you, how you find these songs, bro? My uncle was mixtape bull, and at the he end was of the stealing corner, the CDs fucking, from him. Remember, yes, he was stealing. I don't want to hear a naked uncle. version of Jesus Walk. Yes, the, I fucking I actually still have a naked version of Jesus Walk without the fucking choir. Blah blah blah. <laughs> but that's the thing. So I heard that. I fell in love with that version. So college dropout. Isn't releases. that crazy? Hold on, that's this whole side thing. Like. There are versions yeah. like there are versions of songs that come out before like you hear the leak before like the record, but they're better than the record. Up. That happens too. Like but the hold. original version is that, better than the record. No, Kanye, come yeah. hold. No, but hold on. The, the, one song I know that I know for a fact that happened with was Frank Ocean thinking about you. That was mm. official, that was a reference track. Really? Yeah. The one he recorded, the one he put out. That was a reference That's what happens with me. So I, I, yeah. all my music I record, I record with this mic. Who you talk to, Dude, all my music I record with this. Why do you guys think I just do live performances? Because I'm at this point where like, no, I'm making gold with this thing. I'm mm-hmm. just going to keep doing it. I'm not even going to worry about an album. Making fucking us concept. We're not in the era for that. I'm just that's gonna it. record everything yeah. I feel every day. That's so look, man, that's where like right at. now, yeah. it ain't no point in putting a project out yes. unless, unless you have video visual. Well, making a way. project is one no, thing. You can lead up to but, a project. The, I feel the, like with me, the, I'm gonna lead up. The, I'm gonna drop, drop, drop. The only to way. A and, 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 oh, and I'm gonna put you on up, guys. What? I'm not wearing my glasses. This has only been a couple minutes, but um, they see me. They see where I'm looking. So look. You broke the code. Who did I just say number That's three? This is the first time I'm Who the hell I just say number three? You sidetrack ADHD as one of Who I say number Lupe. three? Lupe. No, I didn't say. I yes, said you Kanye. Did. Kanye. You said, you Kanye. said Lupe. So, <laughs> Kanye, Kanye. You, you see how I do my music, right? I want to throw a singer. I want to do this. I want to add that. That's what I learned from Kanye all the way back then. Like, oh, so structure. A song is yeah, structure. A song is all the way finished when you've done it. So the K so, uh, within the flow was Jay Z and Biggie. This was this is the so construct then, of that. Four, you already know. You already know Lupe Fiasco. Lupe, because this guy. Fucking Damn, Lupe. Lupe was an influence like that. Lupe, yo, thing. don't don't. See, this it, is the thing. Listen, no, hold, 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 hold on. No, 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 no. I did not like Lupe that listen, much. Lupe slander will not be tolerated. I'm not. I'm not slandering him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I just don't tolerate him. It won't be tolerated. So this is the thing. Lupe and Wayne slander will not be tolerated. No, Wayne's the Wayne's the This is the thing for me, right? This is the thing. So Lupe, 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 First off, I need to know, talk, yeah, what it is. You gotta, talk, you gotta listen to the album, bro. He hates the album. If you want to, you gotta hear the album. Lasers. I hate what? Lasers. No, I don't hate lasers. lasers I just want to say that's his best. Tattoo on youth no, is better no, than no, lasers. No, no, no. Food and Liquor Part Two was his best. 
That's his best album. That would be way too long of a conversation. I'm because I'm I'm put it between the uh, cool yeah, and right. Tattoo on You. That's why we can't be talking. Tattoo on You and the cool side. See, two Lupe what? fans, what? but completely nah, two, was two different sides cool of the Lupe two. coin right that here. Was no, you know cool what's crazy? One of, my Lupe, Lupe. No, no. <laughs> one of my favorite Lupe songs of all times on Food and Liquor this Part 2. You know what? Around Lupe. my way. Crazy, bro. Around that, my that way. Was really his last Foreign Follows like, Function. Never, Come on. Yo. Foreign Follows Function, nigga. Come on. You talking to a Lupe fan. Man, stop. I'm like, yo, I don't like Lupe. You're like, I do, I do. And y'all are arguing. I'm the one who doesn't like him, and y'all are arguing. <laughs> First off, did you listen That's to That's the problem with Lupe, <laughs> dog. <laughs> did you listen Y'all to Drogas Wave and like other, dude. Did you listen to Drogas Wave and like not fans, dude. You guys are fighting each other. <laughs> but hold on. Did you listen to Drogas Wave and like Lupe never figured <laughs> that spot out, dude. Hold on. He right, never figured out. Let's get that Lupe in the list off. Split brain. Off. He never figured out the split brain. Right. <laughs> this is it. He said, "This is what's wrong with Lupe." <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me end it off. Both of y'all number fours, and both of y'all are arguing about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, number five. It's, I, I don't care. It's tied. It's tied. I'll just leave, leave it here. Number five. That's the tied. realest shit I've ever seen. That's right between J Kiss, J Cole, and Juice World. Three J's. I don't give a fuck. All right. Those I'll say you tripping on it up. That's yeah. the realest shit I've ever Cole, seen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that had me weak, Because he can only be I a winner by the top fives. Like, you can't be a boy. <laughs> Like, no. We're not going to have a Lupe fan off. You're no, arguing about We're not going to have a Lupe fan off because I was going way back to before you was even on. I, told, I was mixtape yeah. bull. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. early 2000s through 2010s, I'll I was mixtape bull. This, his verse on Canon, dude. Shut up. See, that's, that's not all you give Lupe. Canon. That's not all you give Stop. Listen, that's got, my version. Said, that's all I'm going to give Lupe. No, no I he, said bro. I'll give him that. I didn't say that's look, all I'll give you, him. Bro, I'll, give him, Miro, kick, oh, wait, yo, I'll Miro, give him you kick. Wait. I'll give him kick. You got to see what he's doing, You bro. think he can unlock Miro? Oh, um, I said, yo, he can unlock Miro? He adding the seasoning, bro. No, I'm not. Y'all were already spicy. He said this old ass song. Lupe's still rapping at a very high level. Just like Wayne might be rapping. Wayne might be rapping hotter than Wayne ever been rapping. Is he ain't got the moment. That's what we know. Wayne ain't got the moment. Stop. Wayne is rapping on a high ass level. Right no, now. that wasn't my plan. Bro, as much as you think that was it, it wasn't. I swear. Lupe, number five. Listen. Number five. Number five. Number five. No, no, no. Number five. Gonna, before, no, gonna, before you do that. <laughs> next. Lupe, so next. Lupe, Lupe, no, listen. Redacted. Because you disrespectful. Redacted. Lupe never was, and he never will be better than Wayne. I don't care what the situation is. Did he say is. he was? Yes. Oh. He just Wait, tried to. Did I say that? Yes, you what did. Was? You just tried to say Lupe rapping better than Wayne. Rewind. 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 What the fuck? When did I say <laughs> no, that? I, can't rewind I said it right now. Wayne is rapping at a level better than Wayne always been rapping. He still got he's still rapping what at a very high say? ass fucking level. Uh, I never said Lupe raps better than Wayne. Oh, okay. I, 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 I don't want to compare I, that because okay, then okay, it would sound I'm like I'm shitting on the other. I, I, was about to I definitely was did sprinkle it. salt, but it was fun. Yo, um, yo, that. <laughs> that was hilarious. All right, all right, five. Like, this was all right, so all right, all five. music. We feel like we're gonna come back to music. Let's talk psychedelics. He tried no, to no, music. I didn't even Let's... say my five. You gotta say oh, your yeah, number yeah, five. Yeah. Cool. You didn't say number five. five. Did you say five? Did you say five? Five? No, yeah. Lupe was four, right? Yeah, I, I don't even know who I was. Oh, no, five. you said Juice World, uh, J. J. Cole, fucking and Jadakiss. But I mean, Wale is there too, kind of sort of. Which all that makes sense. so many. I don't even know who to add. A W could spot. be a J back Wale in the day, dude. Five. No, he's not. He said J Cole. I will take Wale. Wale, Wale, Wale we'll like sixth man of the year for me. Right, Wale one. and Big no, Sean. No, no, you can't have. You can have three things. But Wale three people, like sixth man of the year Wale. for me. I fuck with Wale. I J. Cole, love Wale. Like Wale. World or Wale. Which one? Wale's in this top which one? Out of the three. Out of those three, which ones? I've been more influenced by J Cole, but if you listen to me in 2012, I was Baby Wale, so I don't fucking. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'll take J. The Cole then. Love. I'll take J. Cole then. Uh, what's your top five, Bucks? Um, Influence and why? Yeah, not even top, because that's not my top five favorite. Top five favorite artists of all time, why? Oh, and what? Oh hey, oh, wait. One thing we forgot about Wade, one thing me and a lot of people learn from Wade, vocal projection. Of you got to learn to bend so, your voice so much I can say. Ways. But what I, I learned from, like, how he can make a punchline so simple, like, he... My biggest pickup. So, all right, hold so I'm going to switch it to the genre. Biggest pickup from Lil Wayne. Mine was vocal projection and vocal, just how to bend your voice. His is fucking punchlines. What would you say is your biggest pickup from Lil Wayne? 
You can't ask me a question while I have to answer the uh, other no, one, I'm first sorry. of all. So I have to answer the other ADHD. one. I got ADHD. Yeah, I want the first one first. The man. first question is, <laughs> okay, number top, one. top rapper, it's Lil Wayne over Eminem. Like, I'll take Lil Wayne as the rapper. Eminem taught like, me how to flow a lot, though. <laughs> I, I'm mad. I'm mad. I don't talk Eminem. Eminem, Eminem, much Eminem taught me how to, like, be Eminem, weird. He's, he taught me how to chop <laughs> flows, how to have a choppy <laughs> flow. He taught me how to be... <laughs> You told yeah, me how to be weird, real. dog. And I say, and I, and I say this all the time. Eminem fans ruined it for him. Eminem, no, no, Eminem. No, exactly. no, no, exactly. no, no, no. Slim Shady is who we're a fan of, not Eminem. But, but, not, but, 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 but no, his fan base. He got stuck in rap guy mode. Image is because, like, if you think of an Eminem fan now, because mm. Eminem stood for the culture. At one point, he was part of the culture. You get what I'm saying? Like he was, he wasn't. Oh, I didn't even he wasn't Mac a rebel. He was. Favorites. He was embraced. So this is the thing. But Eminem, his fan base is not embracing so hip hop at all. This, this is the thing. This is the thing right what here. What are you doing? I just hear Eminem is not who we were a fan of. It was Slim Shady. We cared about the shit the that drugs. he talked about that didn't make fucking sense. When he said, I'm getting weed just from a, a little centipede, baby boy, and she my mama sexed told me, and I was like yeah. Lee, and a Lexus Lee, and a Betta Thee, we cared. But when he's talking about my heart's on fire or some Favorite shit. Favorite Eminem song. Favorite Eminem Rihanna's song. And Rihanna's singing the chorus, and he's like, what am I supposed to do? No, I like that song. I love the way you are. I like it. I like the one he killed Jay-Z in. It's not about that. Like, dog. Yeah, like Renegade. Like, when he was getting fucked up. The one he killed Jay-Z in. Listen, 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 listen. Eminem never killed Wayne. Listen, listen, listen. Bugs is talking. Stop talking over Bugs. Stop talking over Bugs. My point is, which he's not, I would have to give him an honorary mention in number one because I'm just split with genres. But I would give it an honorary mention with Lil Wayne, along with the like the lines of the bars and shit. I could but, do an honorary but, mention. Listen, it's not Eminem; it's Slim Shady. Mm-hmm. I'm giving Slim Shady that spot. Number two, not okay, Eminem. No, no, no. In number one, lump brain Lil damage. Ever since Slim day, Shady and Lil born. Wayne is number one. If we're talking you're about talking like brain rap. damage, no, but you got under the influence of one in that spot. Lil Wayne, you talking under the influence? Yeah, Lil Wayne all day. Okay, um, who you putting number two all day? Number two, if we're going like vocalists, like the best singer that I think and like has, are you talking like influences? Brian that's Knight. different than verse for what yeah. I think is the best singer. Mm-hmm. So it's influence, right? No, it, it, it influence like voice. Why? All right, so that artist and why it could be any reason. You know. So all right, so so style based off of a lot of where my shit is influenced. Honestly, before Lil Wayne is Missy Elliott. Oh, Missy Elliott influences Ooh. all my so all my beats. Yo. A lot she of my a, shake a lot of my music videos. Yeah, like, a lot of no, direction. Cadence. A lot of my direction comes from Missy. the. Remember, the not being she had, crazy, she say on the touchy Joe, not being she crazy the and joke? kooky. No, like, but Missy knew what she was doing. Missy, though. it was directive. Like this was decided. This like is what I'm going. She was unique. Like you can't you can't compare no. But you think about it, like. Missy Elliott is one on one. There was yeah. no one like her before her, and there's no one like her after. You can't compare. Yeah, because she started R and B, but she did hip hop. It's like it's everything that I do. You know it, what I mean? And, so and, and it fused. She did fun like, shit. They she thought Sierra was gonna so be hold, so think now, about her production. On. Think about get your freak on right. Everything is catchy about that song. The hook, the beat, every do, single do, everything. Do, 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 do. But it's a lot of different samples that you Quiet, wouldn't even know. Like yeah. there's a lot Hush of a lot of nerd research that goes into it. So her. Yeah, Her shit. combined with Lil Wayne, mm. you can already see where like my molecules yes. of bugs is coming from. Cravely. After yes, that, yes. um, it does have to change genres, which you guys probably don't know. But when it comes to this, it's the Disco Biscuits, which is a jam band. Mm-hmm. It's just improv, like which is not a very, it's not a popular thing. It's just jam Muscle band music. And it's not even, it's crazy because it's not even something that I listen to over and over, but it's something so influential that my friends listen to. Just the whole, I'm the drummer with Peaks and Valleys. Yeah, you, see, you see the Peaks side project. Being a drummer in that, but I learned how to drum from rock band and shit. Having a, a direction of music from a percussionist. This is beyond the beatboxer at the lunch table. This is beyond the boom. This is beyond the person that did that while the person rapped. Mm -hmm. I am now, I now know how to speak without saying words. And aggression can be loud. However you depict aggression with noise or which spot of the drum you hit. 
but I found my way to poetically say I love you. So mm-hmm. hold on, let me finish, well, man. No, I'm going. Let, like, 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 poetically say I love you through hitting, hitting something, physically hurting something, versus expressing my ache and pain through poetry of a love song. Like, because I said I started writing through like love poetry and shit with like a girl that I want to go to a dance with mm-hmm. that like is way out of my league, but I still had the balls somehow. To fold up a paper and give it to her. And forget about it. Mm -hmm. And I just forgot about it. And then she DMs me 10 years later like, hey, I like this song. I'm like, I've loved you since fourth grade. And she's like, I know you wrote me a letter. (laughs) I'm like, whoa. That that, That connection that I just gave you symmetry from being a grown man and not realizing how strong I was in fourth grade is the strength you don't realize you have until you play a percussion instrument. Mm -hmm. When you play guitar, you get mad at yourself because you can't do the strings and you can't get there. But when you're like, when you get mad at a video game, you fucking hit a pillow, dude. You you just want to hit something. You want to punch something. Percussion is that, dude. It's literally that. So the reason I never let my anger out on people is for sure because I found drums when I was young. And it was because of Rock Band. I had something I physically beat the fuck up, but it was music. And it wasn't, fuck this bitch, I hate her, Uh, I'm going to take his money because he took my bitch. It wasn't all the negative shit that battle rap is Mm -hmm. that turns into the culture of what this is versus even sad love songs. She broke my heart or I drank too much alcohol or none of that's in percussion, dude. Hold on. None of that's in percussion. Because I'm talking about genres. None of that's in percussion, dude. In drums, it's literally just that. So the Disco Biscuits... Understanding that there's a whole genre of music where they have 20 minute songs with no words, and it's just a, a ride of emotions of energy and tempo and shapes biologically with what the vibrations and sound are. That completely changed my songwriting by understanding what percussion does in the song. And I completely flipped from being a Missy Elliott <coughs> RB boom, boom, boom. Rapper, 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 Eminem, so Lil Wayne. Type to shit. now, I need to, I need to know how to like cry. Now I don't even know how to cry. I know how to be mad and break shit. How how can I like laugh and cry about it? Mm-hmm. And that brought me to the other side, which is now like I have to say a vocalist, the best vocalists that I think are, which is like Whitney Houston, mm. Van, Luther oh, Vandross. Oh. Na, na, wait, wait, wait. Like, now now, now we're on those lines. Question. Number four is all of them. But hold on, hold on. All of Question. them for me. Whitney Houston, I mean? right? The song She's I will the always love you. She's the best singer ever. But hold on, the song I will always love you. I don't give a fuck. Yo, At you one point in time, ever? best singer. Yeah. Wait, we're not, about to get, we're not about to get that ever? deep right now. We're not vocalist, about to get that deep. Yeah. Oh, I'm only at number before four. We get there, <laughs> before we get there, I will always love you. That oh, song. Mariah Carey. Uh-huh. Wait, what? Whitney, stop. But I will always love you. That song. You were confident. Stop it. That song. Has that song ever not made you cry before? No, it never made me cry. I ain't gonna lie, it never made me that cry. That song never made you cry. No, are you? So all I, well, I didn't mean what, like, what I meant by human. Whitney is like what I meant was no, it like never made me cry. Right? Number Whitney. four, <laughs> number four for me is now the vocalist is what I mean. Like number one was rap, Lil Wayne, Eminem. Yeah. Number two was Missy Elliott. Whitney Houston. Number number number, number, three, number three. Number three was Jam time, Disco Biscuits, Jam Please. Bands. Understanding what percussion does to like the hip hop and everything else because it's another genre. Number four is now the vocalist, and for me, it's like. Luther, Whitney Houston, the '70s Ryan singers, Ryan yeah, Knight. disco, throw Earth, Wind and Fire, all that. Like for me, that's what it is. That's what number four is, and number five. Like after that, dude, I don't even it, some Zillion. future past type shit. It's like us, like it's us, like we are all of that now. You oh, know, anything, number one. So like my myself. influence now is me. Yeah, I like, like you, now it turns into like shit to when into. you guys said, "What? Why are you always looking at the wall? I'm looking at me." I'm looking at my shadow, bro. I'm looking at how I'm moving, well, and I'm like, up. this is for me now, because I even if I have someone recording me, we got the blueprint. it's a moment where I'm like, oh, I'm like, ah, I, fuck them. I know they're watching me. This is like, now it's actually what that does is I fully tap into me. That's exactly, so, that's what happens. It's a moment. Segue. It's a moment where I'm like, I don't have to make you feel comfortable or you. This is about me. This is about yourself. Now the same way. Now the song changes though. The way the song is audibly performed 
sounds different than if I'm looking at you mm -hmm. or if I'm looking at you. And these are the artistic things that I crave. So when you come up and I hear the first chord of your song, that's a blue light. No. And then you're up. No, that shit needs to be red. It needs to be red for you. you know, that's the shit. So both that's what I care about. And that's like why my top five is that. It's because <laughs> it's all a complete different layer of it. You know. All right, now to you see how many times you just tried to cut me off? My fault. Uh, let's 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 do a recount right there. <laughs> let's do one. Two, Wait. three. Every time cut, he tried to cut, cut me off for, for the past how we long? Two the, minutes. We gotta count the lines for the cup today. That's why every time. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you're lucky you're I can even think to get the podcast. fucking words out, <laughs> well, motherfucker. You making me want to say so much. Like, I'm gonna ask you a question. Where can I go? Because I want to ask you a question. I want to go to you. I want to go to you, and I want to bounce to him. Listen, I got so many pointers to ask y'all. You mean? Now listen, I got backstory. We just gotta do. Another one. We just gotta do another one. But we'll listen, another yeah, so there's one thing, right? Mm -hmm. So what you're explaining, what you have explained, yeah, I explain, right? So, so, so I, there's so two differences, right? I want y'all to get y'all passports. Wait, oh uh, yeah, I we need, need that. that Dude, we only have music. American knowledge. We gotta go there. We're talking music. Wait, that that we gotta happen. go there, bro. But the, the I'm music a, scene over there, bugs. You gonna love it? I promise. Oh, Both of y'all will. They like it. Do they like Americans? They fuck with us, bro. Listen to me. I'm gonna tell you something, like. They, why do you think Can when I get this Jagged burning Edge, question you know, Jagged Edge is, right? Mm -hmm. Why do you think when they get go over there, they have sold out shows? I gotta mm -hmm. be the one. Or Cisco. Man. Well, they sing, or, they're very good. Method but, but, Man. But, but you get what I'm saying, though? Like, mm -hmm. they can't sell out a show in America, but when they go over there, they appreciate good music over there, bro. Yeah. That, that's what I did learn. Like, you gotta bring it over there. But mm -hmm. when you bring it, the support comes. The support system is there. That's what's crazy about Philly. You know That's what, what Philly is, bro. Can Philly is not going to lie to you, bro. You get far, far if you're whack in Philly, just, they're right. not going to like... Even you spit. Yeah. It's a small example. But I, 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 People I, I, don't I, cheer. I, I, I if know, you're whack at spit, but, it's whack. But, but, but I know the difference in the connection. Oh, no. I know what you're saying. You get what I'm saying. I'm not that. I'm not comparing that. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like, for instance, like, when you hot over there, you get a country behind you. Yeah. When you hot here, you get a city behind you. Yeah. It's a difference. And then you know they hate everybody saying? hates inside this. Yeah, it's interesting. It's a, it's a it's a big difference. Like once you get the three biggest cities behind you, once you get Birmingham, London, and Manchester behind you in mm. the UK, you out of here. You get what I'm saying? Like now, I'm not saying you out of here. Like you gonna make it in general, but like just like since you see, he had to be the the hottest that ever come out of there. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like the scene is just. Different because the support system, mm -hmm. like it's not just one city. Like Philly, you the hottest in Philly. It's gonna take a while before he blew up in New York or blew up in Atlanta. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta like, have person. There's a lot of other things that go to it. Yeah. You get it's what I'm saying? It's not about the music. But but like you got a whole. Imagine having a whole country behind you. Mm -hmm. It's a different cosign. You get what I'm saying? Like over there, that's why I just like I just feel like we. I'm just and, terrified and of like a long plane ride like bro, that. It's five hours. It's longer it's, to go to Arizona. Whoa. That was a twelve-hour flight, God but damn. that what connects? But a street flight. It was like, like seven and then four or something. Yeah. It's, but that's what I'm saying. It takes longer to get there or oh, California. It takes longer to get to California than to do the UK. I just got to get my passport. Yeah, but I'm telling y'all, love it over there, man. My Europe in general, Vegas, you'll just love it. Go to Amsterdam, again. bro. You'll love it. I always, when I was a kid, I wanted to get an Amsterdam yeah, so I'm bad. You, I was like, "Cause weed's legal there." Y'all, y'all love it, man. Like it, it, it's just it's just a different world, you know. Like coming back to America. Nah, we definitely have to go rage. We have to go rage out there. Like, and me being different walks of life. I'm t and I'm telling you, they love the American culture. They love it. They love it out there. And especially you do music going to studios. They gonna just want to work with you just cause you're American. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And the, you, the opportunities you can bring, the fan bases you can have, the type of fans, and it helps. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Every way pops possible. Like if you really in his music, you gotta connect with the rest of the world to really yeah that's the in. one thing I like uh, it's it's because a lot of laziness comes in like mm -hmm. when you are where you want to be as an artist and you created it and you're there it's mm -hmm. like all right, well what's the point now um the point is the barbecue it mm -hmm. goes back to why i do the shows mm -hmm. okay you can make money you can do this but like no the real point is to make sure everyone is cool and everyone can express what they feel mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day everyone goes home happy and it's not about a loss whereas mm -hmm. like if you're going in there like the person throwing the show i need to make this amount of money and if i don't make this amount i'm not going to have a good time mm 
mm-hmm. well, what happens, for an example, to me, where, like, if your car fucks up and you can't make it to the event to host it, I was stressing about not making it to that event. You guys weren't there, but I made it. But when I was there, I was still just stressed about my car. And as the host, I was lazy. I was not attentive and energetic, calling people motherfuckers like I normally do. Mm-hmm. And it showed, you know what I mean? I realized that hard in real time, but I still bit the shit because I wasn't in a good mood. But then I didn't do it. And this last show, you guys saw that. I chose to be who I am instead of being where I was, which was not okay. None of us are financially, like, Mm -hmm. whatever, mentally, where we need to be. But I am aware of what these are and why I'm building this. And I chose to flip it back to what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And God damn it, it was the craziest night we had. Mm -hmm. Because I chose, okay, it's not my fault. Like, I'm not the reason, you know what I mean? That's not what I'm saying ego-wise. I realized in real time, like, holy shit, I could be the reason 60 people have fun or don't. And and it all depends off of me choosing to be a dickhead and selfish or not. Because the problems I have before the event are still going to be the problems there when I go home. So why not fucking dance and call everybody a motherfucker? And, oh, the sound fucked up because of DJ Queso? <laughs> Blame me, dude. Give me that negative energy because I got enough I give to myself. Maybe I could counteract it in some weird spiritual way. Like, fake negative mm-hmm. energy can erase my real negative energy on myself which is actually a deeper poetic reason why I face the thing sometimes because sometimes when I'm performing words I'm not just performing a song I actually am there because I made the song three days before it that's the thing too when I'm performing all these times they are new shit I'm not performing shit from 2016 a lot you know so it's a real poetic moment when I do songs and when I do perform and that's why it's like a real connection. But that's part of it too. If I wasn't neg- like negative for that moment, I wouldn't have been real. I wouldn't have been me. I can't fake it. I'm not faking my smiles. Like if I'm not in a good mood, I'm not, you know. But I also am aware of a ho- as from the host perspective. But at the same time, I'm not about to Hey guys. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, no, I, feel I you, can't bro. even get a pizza if I wanted right now. Mm, yeah. Like, no, like, about, it's yeah. not even pizza about that. It's more about, right like, now. hey, guys, so let's you, fucking cry together. So <laughs> let's, let's, let's fucking cry. So you say you're not willing to go to one of those parties, huh? Uh, what parties? <laughs> Cat Williams party? One, one of them. One of them parties, bro. The party. I wasn't even at the party. I was at an event, and it happened in a door I opened. Whoa. And I turned around and yeah. The party activity. You on mushrooms? No. That's no. crazy. You got, wait, no, hold Zell. You ever did mushrooms before? Never. <laughs> he I, was just asking a transition. I tried to Long get, story short, that did happen. I was in a scenario where I saw it and I saw some shit I did not expect to see. And I turned away from it. Literally, like, didn't call my friend out. And kind of we just never spoke like we never spoke about it but never spoke again like it separated there so you was it was, so oh. he was at a what a they're talking about is real you was at a ludicrous party no i was at a, a studio i was just at a studio and there's you know how studios are they have yeah. hallways and they have different doors mm-hmm. and i yeah. opened okay, i opened the wrong door, door. And it was a night where there were a lot of celebrities there. And it was the night where I, first time I had met celebrities in mm-hmm. my endeavor. And yeah, it's it's there. So it's not like nothing was offered. <laughs> like nothing no, like but, that. But it happened. I before. seen it. And what I seen, I didn't have. You said it was your, you knew the person that <laughs> was. I lost a couple <laughs> friends. I seen it. <laughs> without even talking about what I saw. You know, they knew I saw it. And the convo never happened, but they slipped off as far as not as slipped off. They just stopped doing things publicly. I don't know. You gotta say whatever it was. It's just it's. It out. I'm not no because it's people that you guys like. You guys know some of these people. I don't fucking know none of these goddamn people. You know some of these yeah. people. I don't. And I'm don't not about to it. say it. That's no. my point. And that's what Cat Williams was saying. Well, like, yeah. Uzi. That's I'll the point. Uzi. What the f- who? 
Who? Not Uzi. I mean, I did see Uzi that night, but it wasn't Uzi. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Uzi, though. Uzi was actually the only person who was polite that night. For real? Yeah. Out of everyone I bumped into that night, he who? was the person who Uzi acknowledged me as a human fun. being. Damn. And I know damn well he has, there's no way he has any recollection period about this night. Mm-hmm. For sure. But it, he's the only person in that studio that was like, oh, this person's like coherent and thanks, man. Like, what's up? Is you everybody know? on acid? What was going like, on? No, Cocaine? it wasn't. No, dude. It's uh, influences, mm-hmm. <laughs> which is. Darker than that. So they was doing no. some shit. Being, they was drunk, being drunk, drunk is shit. different. They was bro, doing some bro, bro, it's um. So like I said, if I it's said opportun- it, it's opportunity type. Yeah, time. if I said it, see, I'm not scared of being blackballed. Yeah. I can say the names no, I saw. I just said I saw yeah. Uzi there. No, we're, 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 we're not I can say in. Uzi is like had nothing to, as far as I know, had nothing to do with that scenario yeah. that I saw with my fucking friend. friend that's what I'm saying. In one of my ciphers type shit. Mm-hmm. Like that I saw that was gaining success, and I'm like, "Where you been? How you getting success?" And then I'm at this party, which is a studio session. It's not a party. It. It's not a party. It was a studio sword. session. It was an open session. Yeah, the sword with... all. Nah, nah, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. So you gotta understand, like that's also, also scarring shit. for me, dude. That's like, this is funny to talk, but this is actually like hard Man, to talk no about because yeah, no, like it's hard to go specific there. Because when you talk about being close to your dreams and being in the room of people that you think you need to be around, but then quickly realizing that everyone in that room is like not what you think strong yeah. gutter gangster like they're portraying. Yeah, straight up, like Fifty Cent talks yeah, about yeah, it, bro. Yeah, Fifty go like, in. Fifty don't hold no punches, man. And then when you look at now, you so like the thing that I've said about my career, I've never wanted to be in the industry. I always wanted to be like alongside of it. Be successful but not be in it because I don't want to like have to work for somebody. Mm-hmm. When you look at people who've been blackballed in the industry but are still successful, that's 50. That's Cat. That's the motherfuckers who are saying shit Chappelle. that they're not allowed to say. Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. But they're I'll so, they're, people. They're, people trust in their words so much Prince. that they're not blackballed I don't know if they or count. murdered like Prince was. But yeah, Prince was. that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, Prince that's the level murdered. of what yeah, really Prince happens. That's, that's the level of what happens. And that literally ties into what we were just talking about. What? Yeah, why do I do this? They, they, they hold, why they, am I doing this? Yeah. Why the fuck am I throwing an underground party that can get broken up in a second? What am I doing it for? I'm not making money. I'm not doing like anything else. The point is the barbecue. That's mm-hmm. the point. Wow. It's it's for your picture to be painted because you have a story and you sonically do it. And there's something about music that makes my blood yeah, change shapes. I would have when less I hear music story, if I wasn't performing all the and time. And when it's real. And when it's real. Like when you guys got together at that that one time at Eden, I remember. when was, I remember that performance. I don't know what songs you guys did. Was it the one you just did? Yeah, oh, yeah the yeah, last one at Eden. Last, uh, Eden. Do you guys remember how people we almost reacted? We stage down with that shit. Do you guys remember I, how I people remember. reacted? I was in a zone. I didn't remember. I got it on video. Dude, I got it on video. People bugged out. People real, were freaking I did out. Penthouse. You started fucking dancing. Nigga, you was fucking blicking. Bro, was he was fucking... Zone, people were got... bugging because you got like... The show was good. Oh. Everyone had energy. But you guys came in there and completely... Not, first of all, this is the thing too about the barbecue. You guys show everybody so much love. Mm-hmm. You guys aren't faking like, oh, that's dope. Mm. And like how mean girls are like, no, that's just corny. Like, no, you yeah. guys are like, this is cool because of this. Mm-hmm. And you let people be known. And then you guys hopped on the mic that night and did better than everybody. Like, you know how like I'll, I'll like mm. give studio time and yeah. spit to the artist. Yeah, like if that sure, was spit, yeah. you guys got the studio time that mm-hmm. night. Like for sure. Like Appreciate that's that. that's a crazy energy exchange thing. That's all it is too. That's it's an energy exchange, dude. Mm-hmm. That's. That's all I can ask for, bro, because otherwise we're all just doing, like, what we're supposed to do, yeah. whatever that means. And then we have a moment, like, okay, when you have the free time. Like, when I talk about my family, bro, they don't have, like, hobbies. Is that the night? Yeah, I was looking for oh, shit with me and him, but I ended up finding you. Like, when I talk to some of my family and cousins, they don't have, like, this. Mm-hmm. They don't have a podcast. They don't have music. Something that they fucking something they can do, like and just get just 
unplug from the world unapologetically yeah. be themselves yeah unplug yeah. video yeah. games is that for a lot of people yeah that, and that's why i said <laughs> coexist because yeah. video yeah, games have a lot of influence on hip-hop mm-hmm. the avatar that the bugs you get what i'm saying yeah. everything mm-hmm. it's just like oh wait speaking of video games and samples. hip-hop anybody else notice that big sean leaked his same uh his uh single for his out al- next album on fortnite Nope. You get in the car, you go to the stations, you, you hear a Big Sean song. Fortnite, man. You never heard before. You gotta play. It's fun. I can't do it. Man. It's, it's called Precision. That song is one of the it's uh Three Six Mafia popping my collar sample. It's fucking murder. Y'all don't be on it's GTA? only on Fortnite right now. Nah, I'm waiting for the new GTA, dude. That's next Christmas. That's so close. How, how next you know, Christmas. How, 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 GTA how, six, you're gonna be able to make real money in it. Like, That's not that was fake. I seen money. it. Right. No, nah, I'm gonna right, real money on that shit. I guarantee <laughs> yo, yo, why you right now. Yeah. Why we on this podcast? No, you we, know, we, we do got to wrap this shit up. With, I gotta bring you guys on for another episode. But hold oh, on. my fault, like, bro. Yeah. No, no, there's no like guys. There's Can no rush. Like, me but I, I'm clearly they're coming back on the FCP. We have a lot that we got. But hold on, it's crazy. I told start playing Fortnite. Can we convince this man to start playing Fortnite? Yeah, I just got convinced the last two months. Now it's my later tonight. Is it crossplay? Yes. yes. Yeah. You played on your phone. He played on the PC. Somebody we played with last night was on the phone. My homie played on PS5. I play on PS4 or Switch. Yeah, we were all squatted up. Yo, I do that shit you, every you night. Y'all getting a party and talk to me? Yeah, we talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Yo, this dude's name was KL one seven seven one one. Well, I just started calling Killian. him Khalil. Khalil, like Khalil. I said, Khalil. This guy, has to, he's like, my name is Khalil. <laughs> like, bro, I was yeah, that KL. Was in Jamaica. I Wait, said Khalil. He was in Jamaica playing on a fa- cell phone, bro, on a with no Bluetooth phone. controller. Like, like when he would talk on the phone, you would hear like, hey, eat, oh, eat, he eat, got fourteen back. kills one game because he's on a fucking phone, dude. Hey. But dude, no, that shit's that shit's fun, bro. It's really my fun. Homie, bro. My homie, we play with Can last I hit night. That? What is that? Right? What are you smoking right now? A vape. What is it? Fucking okay, nicotine. Bit. What's in What's inside of this? Nicotine. <laughs> but fucking. <laughs> oh, that hurts, dude. Ten <laughs> percent. You gotta charge it. But no, one of my homies. Oh. You taste technology at that point. Dude, this that mother hurts, mother. bro. That shit's going to explode. No, it's not. The Mike Tyson <laughs> joint did blow up in my pocket, though. Whoa. Damn, they even fucking... They even the Mike Tyson like joint, I, fucking... It went, it, my pocket was hot as shit one day, really right? It tastes really good, though. It tastes really good. Yes, exactly. Well, my pocket was hot as shit with the Mike that Tyson joint. That shit tastes too good. <laughs> That's not real. It's mint. Yo, if you, like, know. picked a piece of bark and tasted that, you'd be freaking out. Peppermint, actually, it is peppermint. I guess it what? is a leaf. It is a leaf, technically. All right, guys, I have to bring them back. Like I said, this is an hour and a half. We wrapping it up. It's John. It's John's on John. We ain't cover We're psychedelics. Oh wait, there's the camera. I'm staring at the mic. Do you have yeah. anything coming? Do you want to tell people something? Yes, I do. Go ahead, Nick. I have a single. He's from UK. Shit, He's from Nick. UK. I have a single that's out <laughs> called "Run It Back." I'm yeah. On all streaming platforms. You can hey, find get me that on bag Zealous, I'm up. Z-E-L- UZ on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Amazon Music, Etsy. You can probably find me on Reddit. I'm on every uh, every platform you can think of. Running Fuck back, yeah. and I'm work. I'm currently working on a song called Shooting Stars. I'm dropping that with a video. Mm-hmm. But uh-huh. and we got uh-huh. a new feature that we're working on. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, that that's feature. but that feature I didn't want to say it. But Buzz that wanted to bring it. Oh. All right, we, that, that, that's gonna be fire. And I can't talk in future. You're on it too. Hold you're on it too. And, and this song up. that me, Bugs, and SK about to do mm-hmm. is really going to be a concept. And you help me with this verse. My, my it's gonna be timeless. I've been on the road. It's gonna be timeless because the fact that how it all came about, mm-hmm. and we got to we got to keep this song special, and it's gonna be special. The timing it, it, of that. It's gonna be crazy. My guy, with, with the three different styles, like I, mm. I'm gonna have to go first. I'm gonna have to get the first verse on this song. I'm gonna just ask it. Bugs hook is matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, so like, I'm gonna just sing. I'm gonna sing. I ain't gonna say that. We, but when we do do it though, we want to do it. It's gonna be a fire, mics. brother. What do you got for the people, bro? Right, so look, you P- got P- mushrooms. I'm gonna look at the. Sh- I need to hurry up and get some. <laughs> I'm, gonna look, I'm gonna look at the camera, right? Let me let me get my hand away from my face and all that shit. So when it comes to what I got on the way, bruh, 
I got so much fucking music that I've been recording with my fucking producer, Jumbo Beats. We've been fucking shit up in the studio His beats nonstop. Are crazy. And then on top of that, so I'm in the studio pretty much on a weekly basis. Um, I worked on a project that took me about two years, and then it, I, I have an issue. I, I got fin- I finished it. Then I started being like, I'm gonna reach out to Zell. I'm gonna reach out to I gotta reach out to me and Bugs gotta get a song done, like mm. he said. Then I start. I knocked out a whole tape with all fucking features. I keep on knocking out shit nonstop. Um, my homie Kyle Black. You ever hear a guitar on my song nowadays? My man in the background playing the guitar. Fire. I got a feature with my man Zell, one of my hottest songs I ever did in my motherfucking life called Pictures, where mm-hmm. I got my fucking, my, my favorite producer I ever worked with, Jumbo Beats, my that other favorite producer too. I ever worked with, Kyle Black. That's what you guys fucking, were just doing, right? Yeah. No, no, no. That no, was in the no. way. Oh, that was but the other one. I just had no, a lot of music on the way. We got now, two drums with Jumbo. Like, we got shooting stars with Jumbo. Then we got pictures with Jumbo. Now, this is mm. another thing, though. So, this, look, peep game. Jumbo, you on you. So, when I say and I, I got seen a him lot 75 M's, too. So, you, you, you act like you wasn't flexing, I want Jumbo. you to vouch for me real quick. I seen him 75 M's. <laughs> I want you to vouch for me real quick, right? I want you to vouch for me real quick. When it comes to range of music, different lanes, different types, different genres, different sounds, from what I let you hear, how many spectrums is my cover right now? From what I'm about to motherfucking drop on the world right now. I'm saying the only genre I ain't hear from you yet was country. This nigga would be double zapping. The piano. Oh, that only. was acoustic. I ain't That's got not no, country. I ain't got no country. I got some rock and roll. I ain't got no country. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no country. I'm Fuck just saying. That, that's how I was. You I ain't got no gold. Put a little else. twang on it. But yeah, I got some shit. <laughs> we gonna have another podcast. Mm-hmm. We gonna have a. This was gonna happen, right? No, I'm we're talking. opening the next podcast look, and we're freestyling so over look, a country beat. That's what we're doing. This the thing. I'm telling. We're Zell freestyling and Bugs over a country beat. That's how we're starting. He's out. He's out. You. There's three more podcast on the way. UK accent on a country, John. You know UK accent is country, right? <laughs> Listen, Zell, you too. They talk like Listen. this, and when you stretch it out, and they talk Stop. like that, it turns it, into it, country. It, when you stretch the UK accent out, I don't know what accent it is. That's, country, he threw dude. every accent in one. That was Asian. That was, that was hood Asian. Country that was from, from there. Arizona. <laughs> that <nigga> <laughs> They're from well, there. Look, it's going to be three more podcasts. It's going to be one saw with just Zell right? and Bugs. <laughs> it's going to be one with just me and Bugs. It's going to be part two with these said, three. Facts. We didn't cover shit. We didn't talk about you shit. Like you from the UK, Jamaica. We didn't finish a single joint. China. Australia. <laughs> Down under. I don't know what, what, what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> and Poland at the same time. So that motherfucker, he had an Ethiopian yeah, accent. I don't even know what Ethiopian was. Damn, I'm bad at accents like that. Do the accent again, that shit was funny, though. That- when you talk like that, Look. and then you stretch it out. <laughs> when you fucking stretch it out, and then, oh, wait, I'm still talking like country. Wait, hold on. When wait, you talk like this, boring. but when you stretch it out. <laughs> what? When you talk like this, but when you stretch it out and you add a little twang. <laughs> when you saying. add a little twang to the UK, it turns into country. And when you talk like this. That is motherfucking a- Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> the hit the twang, hit right the now. twang <laughs> foot pedal on you UK. Like, when you talk like that, that's when you. That's, that's when All right, you do it. You do it. Yeah, do, do yours. Do, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Any type of action. Just do it. Any type of action. Like I'm like, yo, you like a streak of piss, bruv? Bruv, what? A streak of piss, bruv. You don't know what a streak of piss is, man. Oh, see, this kind of Jamaican a little bit. No, that's not Jamaican. Yeah, this kind of Jamaican. Mine's dumb tripping. My, There's my, a little bit dumb. of Jamaican in there. Mine's dumb lost his wig top. It, it, it's heavy Jamaican. Heavy my London, London when you talk top. like this, bruv, and when you talk like, like this. I wasn't born over there. Oh, I was going more Listen, Australian, wasn't but I? I wasn't born over there. No, like, you are Australian. Right, how they say what's up over there is like Wagwan. That's how they say what's up. Wagwan. They do Jamaican Wagwan, bro. No, wait, oh, don't, I didn't say do an accent that you came from. I said do a accent, not your accent. Oh, a, a, a accent? He tried. He <laughs> failed. Right. He we'll failed be miserably. We'll be he back. He failed. Like on. a motherfucker. <laughs> I love you, motherfucker. You guys are great. I'll see you guys soon, dude. Yeah, most definitely. Love you guys. We got, we got right now. Blues Brothers. Blue Ball Brothers. I don't fucking know.